My name's Tony Sabanskis, writer, filmmaker, inventor of the H card, and world-renowned music constructionist. Famed for my extensive research with the, and of course, as chief technical officer on Baseline. Now put a donk on it. The Electro. Put a donk on it. This week, our special guest is none other than the spectacularly fabulous. That's <laughs> right. Okay then, let's not waste any more time. Sit back and get ready for the highly informative, hugely entertaining, borderline annoying Custard Room Podcast. Thanks. And it's uh, the latest one that I, I I watched was about it being um, a cath to CBD oils and stuff, and the benefits of it. So you're smart to be. Yeah, yeah, of course I have. Just for cut. So we're, li- we're live? <laughs> I don't mind telling people I've had a fucking joint. It's like, I, th- I don't think you've lived unless you've had at least one joint. It's how I started smoking. Yeah. So it's like, if you've not had a, if you've not fucking <laughs> dabbled in something, like, then you've not really lived, I don't think. The worst thing I had was um, I just finished doing like a 24 hour fucking shift yeah. at work. And it, I'd just come off and it was Christmas Eve and I wanted to go and I told these people I was going out with yeah, them at lunchtime, yeah. like, but I was fucking knackered, you know. And so the girl that I was seeing at the time, yeah. she says, take one of these fucking diet pills. They're re- they're, <laughs> I, know, she, I know exactly what said, you mean. I got stolen one of them. She says they're, they're really good at fucking yeah. keeping you awake. And yeah, that. yeah. So I just thought, okay, fine, fair enough. What's the worst that can happen? D- drivers. Drivers have them. You know, like uh, I worked at WH Smith's. Yeah. So it was like um, you'd start the route at about three o'clock, finish mm. about seven. Pretty cushy job, really. Yeah. Apart from all the bottles that you just get thrown at your van. Yeah. You know, as you're driving around trying to deliver yeah. these newspapers to shops. And they're all, all of them. Yeah. You're know, like, you try and get like, because they just dump the papers in the middle. But like, mm. news of the world's here. It's like, right, I've got to get like 50 of them or whatever, you mm. know, for su- such a shop. And it would just be like, like locust, you know, like jump on them, but they were always like sort of super high energy. Like, I'm like yeah, it's three o'clock in the morning. What's <laughs> yeah, exactly. wrong with these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And w- one, I said, oh, I'm absolutely knackered. Like, and he went, Oh, I've one of these. This will be this is all you. It's a diet pill. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, all right then. Yeah, like, oh, rang, 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 chewing my jaw off, like, yeah. like driving round to this merc, like <laughs> trying try to race people in this yeah, yeah, balance yeah. stuff. <laughs> Terrible. I used to work for a company called when I was like 17, I think 18. Yeah. Called Rosy Limited, who sold the diet pills. Right, yeah. right. They're full of amphetamine. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, p- yeah literally yeah. pure amphet. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know. Because I, when I was there, they basically had to, they, uh, the government did summer and changed the rules. So they had to yeah. stop selling them with amphetamines and it just right. destroyed yeah. the business. You, you know, Coca Cola is still made from a coca leaf. Yeah. And what they do is ridiculous, like, mm. but they, they, they chemically take out the cocaine mm. out ah. of the leaf. And but they still produce Coca Cola with cocaine, oh, real, wow. you know the actual, yeah, the, you yeah. know the leaf, mm. madness, really. That is, eh? I heard that on, uh, I think it was Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan as well. <laughs> was that on, yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan. I'll steal that. I just say it was my info. Uh, that there, I was, I was still dancing at four o'clock in the fucking morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it was like, <laughs> I, was like <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I actually, I slept for about forty-eight fucking hours. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I just couldn't sleep. It was like, wow, this stuff, <laughs> fucking hell. And you know when your body's moving and you've got no idea, yeah. you know, you're just like that. <laughs> T- tapping away to um, like a, a beep off your uh, a watch or something. A drip. <laughs> That's a good tune. That's good. What's that tune coming from? Beep. <laughs> 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 you ever seen um, the, the, what Simon Pegg, what did he do now? It was called Spaced. Yeah, yeah. Spaced. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He did uh, one episode where he got a mad postman and the postman was like his local <laughs> amphetamine dealer or, you know, whatever. Yeah. And he was the same. He'd come in and then, like, he'd be looking around, like, and he, he had, like, a mad accent. I think Welsh or something. And he, he'd be sort of, like, you know, like, uh, wired as hell, like. <laughs> anyway, phone rang. You know, going, bring, bring. And then it was just, like, bring, bring. And he just, like, kicked into this, bring, bring. And then, then he just cuts back and they're just staring at him on couch, like, what the fuck's this guy doing? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, right. So we are live. Right. I, I'm going to introduce you first. When I, as soon as I set this mic up, I've just whacked. Right, so Dave Turner and Alex DeLuca from Independent Dreams, um, documentary we did 
Oh, uh, over 12 months ago now because mm. it's been released mm. for 12 yeah. months, hasn't it, from your past. Uh, so if you want to just introduce yourselves, what you do individually, so we'll start with Dave. Okay. Um, my name is David Turner, and I am supposed to be a producer and an editor and a VFX artist and an actor and pretty much anything else that I can get my hands on. To Jug be juggler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anything some people will let you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 3D, 3D, 3D modeler as well. Oh, All yeah. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm Alex DeLuca, um, actor, director, producer, camera person, because I've got my own camera. So if people let me point it at stuff, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been working out, that, your camera? It's been good, mate. Yeah, it's really cool. They're a good camera. Yeah, I love really it, good. yeah. Really Which nice. one is the um, Blackmagic? Yeah, Blackmagic Pro. I can't remember the, the name of it. Yeah, yeah, it's the Mini Pro that I've got. 4.6? Yeah, 4.6K, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's hard getting the four point six k though. Yeah, because right. you you've got to you've got to work like a, a hack around it, like you know, to try and get it without spending thousands on CFast cards. Oh well, like um ah right I see right 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 ah right that that's the thing, and it's supposed to be using the CFast speed of the cards. cards. Yeah, you're right. supposed to use CFast cards in it, but unless they have the right speed on it, is fast enough. Yes. Yeah. You're not you're not going to get the four point six k. It's just going to keep on dropping files. No, ninety mega second or something. It needs to be 510 megabytes per second. That's ridiculous, though, isn't it? To get 4.6K. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, sorry. I was going off HD then from the, uh, yeah. the little one. Yeah, the yeah. Little, yeah. Uh, so it needs to, be, uh, camera. needs to be a minimum of 510 that's megabytes ridiculous. per second. But I suppose that's why they're using SSDs in it and stuff like that and the other yeah. cameras. And the other well, style. that's the hack that I've done on it. Right. Oh, right. So, so you're using an I've SSD. I've just done a workaround that like, makes, the, makes the camera believe it's got CFast cards yeah. in it. And you use SSDs instead, right? Which cost eighty nine pound yeah. instead of five hundred pound for the yeah, same yeah, amount yeah, of yeah. space. It's, it's the same with batteries on certain cameras. It's like them Anton Bauer batteries are ridiculously priced. Yeah, yeah. I've got um, two, my LED, my lamp that's normally mains. It's got an Anton Bauer connector on the back. Mm. Um, you know, like a V plate. Oh you yeah, ever, you've seen them, the V plate. Yeah. So the batteries for them are about 300, 400 pound. Yeah. It's like, are you taking piss? Like 400 pound? I'm not paying that for a battery. <laughs> no. You know, like you can get a car for that mm. and with a battery in it. Yeah. Power it off your car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? A generator <laughs> or something. I'm not paying that. So, but what you can get is like an empty box that you can put uh, Sony's in or mm. Canon's. Yeah. You know, like two or three Canon's in mm. to replace the V. So it's just like a holder for a different sort of thing. Yeah. But I was the same with power on the um, Blackmagic pocket camera yeah. yeah shit batteries it was like you were like a battery in oh beep oh it's gone yeah. you know like like after a minute absolutely ridiculous so i ended up with a little 12 volt pack but they're like rocking our shit to get hold of yeah all the packs are always like five volt for usb or whatever mm. you know so yeah they're a bit of bit of a nightmare right so yeah we have begun um actor or filmmaker that's the big question on this isn't it mm. yeah we, we, which do you think which do you prefer? Acting. <laughs> yeah, I think I, think, I, think I prefer acting. Yeah, no, after easier. doing your recent sort of production. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, def it's definitely <laughs> acting because yeah. you, you get to be creative but yeah. not have all the, the stress. Yeah. You, you, don't <laughs> have, you don't have the same responsibility as yeah. an actor. Yeah. You, do, you turn, you, you rock up, don't you? You, know, you, yeah. you do yeah. your thing and then you leave. Yeah. Whereas, whereas when you... Yes, we, we, I remember our little incident <clears throat> when we were in Denmark. Uh, just me piling this, like, masses of kit around me. What was his name, that guy? He was... One. Oh, God, he was... Uh, I don't offend him, right, but I'm going to... Was, it, was, he, was he Ray's boyfriend or whatever? What was his name? Um, oh, um... Is it Josh? Josh. Josh. That Josh. Was it. Josh, yeah. Josh. Josh. Yeah, going to banter with Josh because it was like, I had a load of kit. And it wasn't just for my sake, do you know what I mean? They were mm, doing yeah. it. It was like they, they were going to get on the, the, the actual yeah, finished yeah. thing as well. Yeah. And uh, I just went, can you grab that bag? Like, he went, no, it's not my my job. I'm an actor. Like, oh, fucking acting now, <laughs> though, are you? You know what I mean? It's a fucking documentary, like. It's like and it was like, oh, that's the, that's, it's our, it's them and us. Mm. So yeah. it shouldn't be like that, you know, Absolutely on these law not. productions, no, like, no. what the fuck no, I, playing I, I definitely that? think the fact that, for me anyway, that I do, I am, a filmmaker 
that it's helped my acting. Ah, well, yeah. that, that's it. It so does, yeah. Because he's not a filmmaker. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So there's still that divide of yeah. like, oh, no, no, they go out and do all that. I just yeah. rock up and do what I want and go home. Like, yeah. I think to do both, you need to be able to do both jobs. You need to be able to be an oh, actor God, yeah. Yeah. as a mm. filmmaker because it makes you appreciate the actors. Mm. And you also need to be able to do a bit of filmmaking because yeah. it does improve your acting it as well. Does. I think to be especially camera presence where you mm. are on yeah. camera. Yeah, I think producer a producer has to know every other role yeah. there Absolutely. is. Yeah. You know, he, he needs to have been a, a, a grip. He needs to have been a fucking deal. Yeah, piece. understand yeah. it. So yeah. you can and a lighting guy. So you can understand what's going on if they're doing the job right and everything else. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, you yeah. can call people out all the time. Yeah, then, and just go, mm. what the fuck are you doing with that microphone for forty fucking feet away? Like? <laughs> it's all real. Like. It's I, I've yeah. been on sets, me. Literally, honestly, I've been on a set, and the guy's got it pointed the wrong way. You know, the microphone, <laughs> like completely wrong direction. I'm going, dude, it's supposed to be pointed at his mouth where his. <laughs> sound comes from you know yeah. let's get these like bare basics started <laughs> and then i've gone so is it sounding all right we're in a farm yeah so i wasn't expecting it to be great yeah, you know, yeah. like there's loads of background noise just wanted him as close as possible yeah, like, so yeah, yeah. cut the frame and everything you know so we could get some good sound he was going yeah yeah it's all right that. i'm going sure yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it back dude it was just like this yeah this faint little tiny voice in, yeah. and I was just like what the fuck was he listening to he had headphones on yeah <laughs> what's going on there's some terrible terrible people like when they first start out yeah so you you're both going to go for actor then yeah, yeah. I, I, I think only because it's easier is it is it what you prefer I, oh, right, right. I, I think I enjoy filmmaking more but it's so much more fucking hard work yeah and it's, it's not just hard. it's not just when you're on the set it's it's off as well it's, you can't, I mean, when you you're an actor, yeah, you've, you? you've you've got to learn your lines, and you know you've got to be in your character, know know what your character's about. But... See, that's why I couldn't be an actor. Mm. I can, I've, I just can't remember lines. Yeah, I mean, I've like wrote the script, and it's just like what was that line? <laughs> I can't remember it. Like three words, wow. still can't remember it. Just terrible. I don't know whether it's like a nerve thing, yeah, but, mm. or whatever. But I just can never remember lines. It's ridiculous. I'm the other way, me. I can, I can, I learn lines really quickly. Yeah. yeah, it's like I can turn up on set like and not learn anything, and and within after a couple of goes at it, I know it. All oh, right, right. And oh, so I don't, okay. I don't have a problem. Although I always, I always read the script first anyway, and yeah. make sure that I know what I'm doing. But context, I, yeah. So I know the context of it. But really, I, yeah. I learn very quickly. I, w I went watching uh, Maxine Peake with uh, Krellin. Mm. Krellin. I, lo I love her. She's great. It was, it was, it, was a, to be, it wasn't my, you know, it wasn't my favourite play that I've seen. Mm. It was quite, yeah. for me, it was boring. Yeah. Um, it was, too, you know, it was too cultured and sort mm. of like hidden metaphors and you know, yeah. all the rest of it. But more power to her. It was fucking two hours long and it was just mm. her talking for two hours. I was yeah. just like, what the, f Jeez. how the hell did she remember yeah. like, them lines? It That's is. crazy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, she had an earpiece in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was a case of, you could just tell that she didn't need it. Do you know no. what I mean? It was like, it was all yeah. flowing really, really well. But yeah, it was, I, yeah, more power to people who can mm. remember lines because mm. I can't remember shit. <laughs> I barely, barely remember my name if someone asked yeah. me on, on set like, right, right. Action. Uh, <laughs> 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 fucking terrible. <laughs> right, next question. Um, be be before we start talking about the doc, because mm. we, 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 you know, like um, I made the doc that you two were in. Yeah. Um, and we've got some. We'll have some questions for that. <laughs> <laughs> How did you start? Let's start with pull your mic a little bit closer to you as well, Dave. Just that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did go on, who, who wants to start? Dave, you start, mate. Go on. <laughs> yeah. How, how did, it was, it's your fault. How did, I got involved in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> well, not not just the doc documentary. How did you start with like sort of acting or yeah, yeah, uh, filmmaking? Yeah, okay. right. Well, I did. I, I did start with acting, but it, it I kind of almost fell into it by accident, I suppose. Because um, when my kids, my my two daughters, um, were little, like I think four and six, they both sort of expressed an interest in acting. Right. So um, I had a look round, made it happen, got them into um, an agency called Eurokids, and they were doing bits and bobs, a couple of commercials, a um, couple of TV small roles. And then one day the agency sort of rang us up and said, look, we're looking for families for this commercial. Do you want to go for it? And so I spoke to my wife, Sam, and we went, yeah, went for it. Bish, bash, boss, we got it. 
Um, McDonald's, weren't it? It was, yeah, yeah. It was the Dad's Voice commercial, and that was my first ever acting job. It was ever. very, very nicely shot. I remember seeing it. Was, it was. It was re- really, really nice. And um, I, I did that, and I sort of never looked back since. Yeah. And it was one of those sort of epiphany moments where I went, "Why have I never done this before?" Because I've always yeah, been a yeah, performer yeah. of one sort or another. Yeah. You know, I've I've been a singer, and I've been gigging, I play the guitar, and all that. So I've I've been doing that since I was like 16, 15, yeah. 16. And I just, it was just one of those things where I went, wow, this is awesome. I want to do this. Yeah. And that's where I kind of started the whole sort of process. Mm. Right, right, right. Well, what did you do before? Um, I'm, I'm technically still an IT man. I'm, right, right. You know, I'm, 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 I've got so many qualifications, <laughs> I can't even go through them all. Um, you know, I'm, I can fix servers, I can set up a network for uh across geographic locations vpns all that kind of stuff um and i've basically been doing that for about mm, 25 years right Right. 25 years and um yeah so that that's that was me sort of first love i suppose it's because so so you love doing it absolutely yeah i mean I, i i love i love i love computers from being really small so, so you weren't, it wasn't like, um, going into acting wasn't like, um, a big break from say a fucking mundane job that you hate to death. Like, and then you just go, Oh, mm. I'm no, actor. I mean, acting, <laughs> acting was, I basically made the decision because at the time I, I ran my own IT company. Yeah. And, um, I, at that time I was at a point where I had about four or five employees Yeah, and it pretty much ran itself. So it meant I had some spare time. Yeah. And that's how I kind of started. So that spare time was then devoted to um, acting and, you know, looking for work and all that kind of stuff and moving upwards and 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 onwards. And then that took over and then killed the IT part off. Yeah, well, I've still got some IT stuff going on. Right, right. um, I I remember when you shut down your actual place, though. Yeah. That was the only bit that was like, shit, fucking should have got that that documentary. It was like, Mm. it was one of them pieces. I know it's a horrible thing to happen, but as far as like a story goes, yeah. a narrative goes. Well, there was a big to... sort of narrative behind the whole shutting down thing. Right, right. Which you, I don't think you're aware of. Yeah, I think you got sued, didn't you? No, no. No, no, no. no, no. no I, it was worse than that, mate. It, was, it wasn't I, even... No, it was, I, basically this guy came, came, who was one of my clients, came to me and said, I want to invest. I think, right. I think you're really good. I think you're fabulous. Right. Um, I think, you know, with a little bit of money and a little bit of my help, you can expand across wasn't one it nationwide. Wasn't one at Dragons, were it? No, a tall one. No. <laughs> uh, and anyway, the he, he came in three months later. Um, money disappeared. So. Oh, right, right. And he's living on a yacht in uh, Central America. Yeah, he's, he's sunning it in Barbados. I know. So at that point, it was really, really, really tough financially. Right. Um, but now we're we're great. Right, right, cool. So, you're a sports name. How did you get in- involved in it? Hormones, mate. Hormones. <laughs> I, was, I, was a, I was about, um, I think I was about 11 or 12, mm. and I just started really noticing girls and that, like, you know. And you thought acting was the way in? Uh, no, they, 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 was a, they were doing a school production of Oliver. Oh, right, right. Yes, and, I remember you saying this. And one of the girls, uh, she's got, really nice boobs and stuff like that like right. you know, and she was nice to look at and everything and she was playing nancy she got the role of nancy so i thought i'd go along just to see what all the fuss was about and that like you know and see if i could get get anything and i ended up getting the role of the artful dodger yes. in this thing yeah. so i ended up doing a lot of stuff with nancy and all that kind of thing right. which was great i thought anyway because she was oh man no, but that was that was it was literally down to hormones and that's when i first fell in love with it right and then I think I did Calamity Jane after that as well. Not right. actually playing Calamity Jane, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we, we did that after. It's a modern as world well. you can do yeah, if you want. And, so then, you want. and then it's almost as if my balls dropped mid fucking, you know, right, uh, show right, right. kind of thing. Like, And I went from going, la to la overnight. And so it was musical theatre more than. Yeah, well, it Oliver, was. It was musical yeah, yeah, theatre, yeah. yeah, to begin with. And then. Um, I ended up doing a whole shitload of other things and kind of fell out, fell away from it. Yeah. And I think that was just down to hormones as well because I spent most of my time chasing girls, like so. Right, right. 
And then I joined um, the Royal Air Force. Yeah. And I saw the other side of things then because I started doing some drama and things like that. But then also we did a bit of filmmaking as well. We started doing documentaries. We used to make our own training videos and right. all sorts of things like that. We did a, a documentary down the Falklands when we was down there. Right. So we did a whole host of different things. Yeah. But we ne I never really thought that it would be something that I would do full time or go bang straight into. Yeah. And then when I left the Air Force, it was kind of like, well, what do I want to do? I didn't know what I was doing. I got, I was medically discharged because I smashed my back up. Right. And so they says, well, do you, we can... do you still get paid out from that? Because I, I, yeah, I do. Yeah, I get, a, I get a pension from that. Right. And uh, uh, because it was done when I was in the line of duty and yeah, all that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. yes. Um, so what happened there then? Afterwards, they says, well, we can give you, you can go on courses. Uh, and do whatever you want. And I think I start. I thought, well, what can I fucking do? Because at the time I couldn't walk anyway. Mm. And so they said, oh, what about some bookkeeping? Did some bookkeeping. Hated that to death. Because mm. right? it was <laughs> it was so mind-numbingly boring. Like, yeah. It was unreal. So I hated that. And then I f fell into doing psychology and stuff like this. Right, which right. I thought, oh, that's all right. It's not too bad. But then while I was doing that, I started getting m my movement back and everything as well. Right. And so I started being able to move a little bit more. And then I think uh, I did a thing in Doncaster. Right. And I just finished doing a psychology degree and I was a qualified psychotherapist and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. But it wasn't really for me sitting there listening to other people's problems all day. Yeah. You know, it, be it became very... Um, is you can't leave all of it in the office. Some of it you take home with you, and it's yeah, very yeah, difficult yeah, yeah, to yeah. get rid of that. Some of the things that you get told, and I just thought, you know what, this isn't for me. Yeah, this ain't for me at all. And I went along uh, to cast in Doncaster, the theatre there, and they had a work acting workshop that they had on. Right. And I went over there, and I decided that I was going to do some acting workshops, do a few courses, you know, try and get back into a, a little bit of it, see what it's like. Yeah. And I got the a role there uh, in a, I can't remember what it was called now, but I played Professor Leach. I was the bad guy in this, in this, in this whole thing. And it was an open air event right. that they did just outside Doncaster at this great big fucking mansion. Mm. And they put uh, yeah. these, uh, special effects up on the side of the wall and everything mm. else. It was yeah, really good yeah, what they yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was fantastic. But that was what got me back into it. That they did they do one like that at Jodrell Bank, which yeah. is quite a show as well. Mm. Um, in fact, was Mark not working on um, something like that a while ago, like a big outdoor thing no, where they were no. doing? Like, oh, Mark, um, oh, Kinran. Yeah, he, he, he does, does Kinran. Kinran. He does Kinran, doesn't he? So yeah, yeah. So that's a big, big outdoor thing. Yeah, that's well. a big yeah. outdoor yeah. thing. I've never seen well, it. I'd yeah. like to go and watch that. Actually, mm. yeah. yeah. It, it I've thought about good. going a few times. Yeah, it's a bit expensive though, isn't it? It is. It's not cheap. Yeah, yeah. 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 The ones at Jodrell Bank aren't either. It's no, a bit, bit, of, bit of a stinger for the amount of people but, that they get in. You think? Yeah. Oh come on, let's lower it. So after that, and then I, I didn't look back after that really because I, I did uh, some courses in Spain, which I absolutely adored going there. Right. And I did some, um, oh, what's his flipping name? He's, a, he's this French uh, French chap. I can't think of his name just off the top of my head. Marcel Marcel. No, not him. <laughs> not him. He's this, he's this guy that invented uh, a way of acting, whereas it, you do lots of mask work and things like that. You know, it's all right. about uh, visuals and right, right, right. things like that, where you don't necessarily have to do any speaking to actually get the point across what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so there was that. And his philosophy about acting was it's, it's not acting, it's play. Right. You're just playing. You know, yeah. Because when, when, you're, when you're kids, the first thing you, you, you do is that you learn how to play games with each other, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether it's cowboys and Indians, war games or doctors and nurses, depending on what you want to be playing. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. We, and we still do it now to a certain yeah, degree. Role play. Yeah, yeah, role play, yeah. And so that's it. It's just playing, isn't it? It's just playtime when you're acting. It's just that you've got, you've got uh, a set of rules in front of you, mm. which is your script. And that's yeah. it, really. Yeah. No, cool. 
I, th- I think I got more out of that than we ever did on that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I know, know how it started now. I could never get yeah. that before. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's, um, let's move on to... I, I was going to ask you what you're both up to now. Mm. Um, in fact, it will give, give us a roundup, because I know that you want to plug what you're going to do now. Yeah. So, give, but give us a, like a... Um, I know you've got about fucking 50 things going. You need to fucking narrow them down. <laughs> but in fact, you start, Alex, because otherwise we um, uh... At the moment, I'm doing, uh, helping produce a, a documentary on CBD oils. Yeah. I'm <clears> starting <throat> a new YouTube channel, which is called Biscuit Porn Biscuit, TV. Well, yeah, when you're starting that. Well, the video, the first video has turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Right. It was right. only going to be 10 minutes right. and it's more like going to be half an hour. Right. Uh, and that's about um, water, uh, drinking water. So, so what are your subjects with on it? it? What are your subjects on Subjects will just be uh, alternative lifestyle. Right. Which it won't be your run of the mill fucking makeup and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It'll be alternative stuff. Right. And if we think that there's something that we need to bring to the public eye, so to speak, right. then we'll do that as well. We'll stick it in there. Right. We don't care if we upset people. So have you started that, mate? Yeah, I've started it, yeah. We've, right. I'm still editing that first video. Right. It's nearly ready to go on YouTube. Right. Okay. And then after that, it, then after that, chances are, hopefully, the plan is that we'll put something out every week. Right. I I, I plan I planned that with the podcast and that, that turns to fortnightly. Yeah, well, if <laughs> it turns out so being fortnightly or monthly, or whatever, but we'll try and put something out regular on that. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously what we're doing now, and, and plus I'm writing um, a script called uh, The Damned, right? Which is about um, two young people uh, who are in love with each other mm. and. Uh, the things that you would do uh, for love, really. You... And it's about the fallout after the Battle of Culloden. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Which one's Culloden? Uh, that's the one that the, where the Scots got a paste in, really. That's right, in right. 1746. Right. But there's a lot more to it than the Scots getting a yeah, paste yeah, yeah, in yeah, because yeah. After, the, after the Battle of Culloden, the Duke of Cumberland pretty much gave an order to his troops saying that they could do anything they wanted and that they're to show the Scots no mercy. Right, right. And so what they did was that they went out and they burnt half of Inverness. Right. You know, they were raping women in the street and all sorts of things like so. It's like Glasgow now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> Glasgow on Saturday night. Yeah. And so uh, it's it's a, it's about that and and what what how far would somebody to go for for somebody that they love? What would they do? Right. So it's a, it's one of the it's one of the questions that you ask yourself when you're going to write something what you, would you do you you need to you two need to work on your uh, lift pitches so mm. li- lift pitches are a way of describing the production within 30 seconds ah. mm. so so, <laughs> so no I, I, I ready for, right so the independent dreams was yeah. which is the the, the whole logline yeah, is yeah. Uh, yeah. two actors and aspiring filmmakers disillusioned by the current film industry mm. set out to make their own epic productions mm. yeah and just these certain words epic productions mm. means that you planned something big yeah. yeah you know what i mean you were actors you're aspiring filmmakers mm. you know you've mm. gone from acting to filmmaker so if you all the words sort of you, you break it down and you just go fuck that's the entire story yeah yeah you know within and you it's like the lift pitches because if you get in the bbc you're in the top floor and you're going down with someone they go oh yeah i'm looking at oh what is it yeah rather than when we inter- i remember interviewing you dave i go so what's dream 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 finder about <laughs> well it it's this guy, and he's uh, <laughs> he's got a friend who's made a stone. And he's just, just like, oh, like, fuck it, we did it. We did it about ten takes, and yeah. I still didn't know what it were about. Yeah. You know, by the end of it, like. <laughs> but as um, it's a part of, on on at uni when yeah. we're doing script writing. Part of the task after you've done your script, you've got to be able to sort of fucking say what that script is mm. like instantly. Like, yeah. So somebody asks you. Yeah, like, yeah. It's always. A th- I I do it now. I only sort of do it when I've finished it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'll sort of plan it and think, right, if anybody asks me what this is about, yeah. I yeah. can sort of smash it in like um, 20 seconds. Yeah. You know, one of them. It's, it's a bit of, um, yeah, I, I like lift pitches. Mm. They, they make sense to do them. Gives you a better idea of your own story as yeah. well. Yeah, you know, should, yeah. When, you, when you've done. So, so you, you write him, you're doing yeah. Biscuit Palm. Yeah. Um, are you, yeah, do, the documentary. Are you, are you, oh, a documentary of the called CBD. Yeah. 
which I have so so plan B. We'll do yeah. a, we'll do a plug. Hang on. Hang. Little plug. <laughs> 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 so what is it? Plan B. Yeah, plan B. Yeah, and it's about CBD CBD oils. oils yeah. All right. So uh, keep an eye on that on social media. Um, what about Storm Warrior? Storm Warrior, I'm, uh, I'm shelved. Yeah, no, it's not shelved. It's 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 on the back burner. But the thing is, for that, we've got uh, SEIS approval on it, and we've got EIS approval on it. Right up to the up to the uh, to the amount of twenty five million pounds. Which for our listeners um, is like a tax relief thing for investors. Yeah, ta- it's massive tax relief for investors. If they was to put in, I, I think um, SEIS. I think they get somewhere up to in the region they can get fifty percent tax relief, yeah, and up to seventy five percent tax relief as well if they've got other things that they've got going on, which I can't quite remember. Uh, but we've got we've got all the tax relief and everything else that's that's working on it. It's so, just about getting the right people to bite. Yeah, what's your order? What's your working order? Are you doing biscuit palm first? Are you writing the thing first? Well, I, the way that I do it is that when I get bored with one, I do the other. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey, no, you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. you because you can work too hard on something, and yeah. you you, you be, it, it, be, it becomes a bit stale. Yeah. Mm. And so as soon as I finished one bit, and I think, yeah, okay, I'll give that a break for a bit, and then go back to it. Yeah. And uh, then I work on something else. I, I did the same recently. I just I set up um, my hard drives to crunch a load of data, and I found Robert the Weary script. Mm. And he was only at something like nine minutes. You know, it was it never passed that. Cause yeah. It was like it was going to be web. And I thought, you know what? Extend this, make it a pilot or whatever. And I just plowed on, on it and sort of set the story out a bit. Mm. And I've got my first draft now, but mm. it has taken <laughs> some <something laughs> crazy. Like, yeah, we were going to be doing that a couple of years ago. I, well, is it two years? So yeah. yeah, it's been long. Have you have thought. you seen that thing on? Is it Amazon or Netflix? The the Viking thing. It's only like half an hour long each one. I think it's like. Is it? Oh, is it? Um, is it foreign? Uh, yeah, you 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 sent me the link. To yes, it, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, um, did, I don't think you can't get brilliant. the second bleeding se- can series. Can you not? No, you uh. can't get the second season because it's like it's made in Norway or something. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. And dubbed into two languages. Mm. In fact, the actors have done it all in two languages. Yeah. So it's like so wow. each scene they'll do in, yeah. in English, and then yeah. they'll do the scene again, but in Norwegian yeah. or whatever. You know, whatever. But that language. is funny. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that yeah. is really good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. But yeah, I mean, it, it's. I mean, it's down them lines, but with if this, it's, yeah. it's got the time travel element. Yeah. So you've got like yeah. this, it's a, an anachronism where you've got something out of its time period. Yeah, so it sure, becomes yeah. funny then because mm, of yeah. like the fact that, you know, it's like them fish out of water. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, and especially because I've, I've introduced two others that are actually the same, but from slightly different time periods. Mm. Uh, and the way back is to combine the little things that they've got going. My lift pitch isn't done yet for this. Yeah, a little bit of advice. Um, yeah, a little you need bit to of advice, improve yeah. your lift pitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Work on your lift pitch. <laughs> so go on. Well, in fact, just pull your mic a little bit closer again. There, keeps wandering off. Um, go on. You, your turn. Uh, okay, so um, I'm, I'm. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the the primary project at the moment is a, a pilot called Day One, yeah, um, which is a fantasy horror, um, sort of revolving around um, this a uh, family who are the Casey family, and um, they so basically something goes wrong, something goes wrong, and um, the eldest daughter spends all of her time trying to find where her family have gone, right. Um, no, we're but, not giving too much away by saying there's zombies in this, are we? No, no, but, they're not zombies. But the by point, the, way. the point oh, is that no, no, no. it's not about the zombies. The no. whole story isn't. The zombies are almost there. Um, they're not zombies, Dave. I like yeah, you well, them. yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, not, they're not. They're not. Yeah, the, 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 we, they, we call like them croaks. A, is it like a twenty-eight days later type zombie rather than a zombie? No, or is it's a completely medically? different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, right, we're right. kind of trying to reinvent the the genre. Yeah, right, we're trying right. to do something different. <laughs> so it's not. It's like um, can I? No, I can't really say that. I don't want to give that away. Um, no, it's it's not about the zombies. It's about sort of the interactions between parent and child mm. or children. Yeah, and well, how... I get that it's a drama under underlying. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Did, did, 
you've got zombies in we it. have got yeah. zombies yeah but yeah. they're not zombies. They're not no, zombies. They're z- zombie type. We call them croaks. Right. Croaks. Croaks. They're called croaks. Do they eat brains? No. <laughs> <laughs> they don't actually eat anything. Right. So they're just... I'm... Is there anything you can equate it to? Because that's always good. Is um, it, it like 28 days later, they weren't zombies as such, were they? They were like, it was like yeah, medical it's like thing. A, yeah, it's just sentimental, didn't it? Yeah. If anything, the, the sort of, there's basically four phases of, of, croak right um if anything the the third and fourth phase are based on the i am legend vampires right right mm. so yeah. the original i am legend which is the one with if charlton eston well no that's the second one was that the second one yeah, yeah. that was a reboot uh but i think that's the most well known um which you've got, is, you've got is it millennium one. man or something what was it called that? i can't i can't remember what it was called it it's, wasn't. It wasn't. I am legend because that was Will yeah, Smith, wasn't was, it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's the same um, basic same story. Isn't it? But yeah, that, that's like yeah. a medical thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it went mm. wrong with some, yeah some... but this isn't. This isn't medical at all. It's right. it's uh, fantasy. Right. So it's um, it's very very lightly influenced by religion. Right. Because the sort of the main antagonist is kind of taken from the. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, it's the 10th century BC, right? A character called Zephaniah, who was Sumerian or something. Um, basically, she was the no, it was a he, but he. It's almost we what we what I've done is I've sort of amalgamated two characters from one was from the 10th 10th century BC and one was from they're, they're pretty rare 10th 10th BC because it's like Ice Age or just after the Ice sorry, Age. No, it was it what it wasn't tenth. It was the fifth. Right. So yeah. So that's like um, Socrates yeah. type. That's right. Yeah. 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 It was the fifth. Um, but then there's basically two characters. Uh, Zephaniah was from the second century BC. Right. And then there was another character which was the fifth, and um, she hasn't actually got a name in any of any Bibles. It's basically pulled from the Bible. This. Right. Uh, but um, she was known as the um, the Witch of Endor. Right. And almost sort of cross those two characters together. Right. So something. So something's happened to the world. Our world that we know it. Yeah. Mm. Something that from a long time ago. Like well, the the witch of Endor basically was. Um, she was a witch. So, she was a necromancer. Yeah. Mm. Right. In in those days, and uh, the story goes that she was asked to um, speak to the dead on behalf of the Sumerian king. Right. Uh, so he could find out about a battle. So I was right, Samaria. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you were there, mate. I was there. So he could find out whether he was going to be successful in a battle with the Palestines the next day. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, basically, she tells him that everybody's going to die. Right. And uh, he gets goes in a huff, and then everything happens like she says. Everybody dies. He dies, and it all goes wrong. Right, and but it's, it's based now, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So it have you got now. two different time? T- three yes. different time periods. Two, two different time periods. Now and back then. No, nope. now and ten years later. Right, right. So, but it's it, all stemmed from this thing. It is, back. yeah. I mean, if we'd have gone all the way back, um, and we could have, I suppose, mm. it would have been quite difficult to to get. The you sort you of don't have to do element. that in the first first episode. No, you don't no, need to, no, you can no. do that the way down. The oh line. yeah. Have, you, have you seen Handmaid's of... Tale? Yeah, mm. yeah. It's, it's like like eight episodes through that. I'm still going. What the? F- why are they allowing this shit? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then you start yeah. finding out in the 19th, yeah. don't you? Yeah. It's like yeah. why? And you go yeah. right. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it's basically uh, two times on. So it's now or day one, right? And ten years later, right? And it's all about the 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 journey that the eldest daughter of the Casey family goes through to find her family. Right. Right. Have you seen the one with? Colin Frodo, Martin Freeman. Freeman, yeah, yeah Martin Freeman. Have, have you yeah, seen yeah. the one where it's like sort of based on the like the Mississippi River at first or something? He's in like um, a houseboat living on that. With, oh, um, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the bear bear. And that's where uh, there's like some bloody zombie thing in the yes. boat or whatever it is. Right, it comes yeah. out, bites yeah. his missus or it's, whatever. It's, yeah. it's, it's like a, a weird zombie thing going mm. on again, some medical yeah. thing or whatever, you know. They're not, they're not raised from the dead. Yeah, the zombies yeah, yeah. Are, It's always some medical thing. Mm. Um but that is a, it's like one of them enduring drama sort of, yeah. you know, tearjerker sort mm. of type films. Yeah. 
It's a very, very good performance. I don't actually like the film that much, but it was a very good performance mm. by Freeman. No, I thought like. he was good in it, yeah. 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 I, the film, I was like, eh. But him himself, it was, yeah. it was very good. I think it was a Netflix was, that was, was, I think classic that was, as a Netflix yeah, original. Mm, it was an original, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think it's fucking Netflix. I have originals, really. They just buy them, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> companies that have no distribution yeah. or whatever. And go, yeah. You know, slap our label on Yeah, them, yeah. Right? I watched um, uh, that documentary with the cult. You watched that, the... Is it Wild Wild Country? Oh, I've not seen no, that. Oh, seen it. Yeah, watch that. It's great. Is yeah. it worth it, is it? Yes, very much worth I'll it. I'll give that a watch then. The, uh, he, he virtually takes over. He starts off in India. He's like an Indian guru. Mm. And it starts a bit of a cult, if you can call it a cult at that point. Yeah. yeah. Then he goes to America to some flyover country like Arizona or wherever, you know, like where you can buy like, you know, like the, a size of plot of the land of, of England for peanuts, yeah. like, you know, where they've got it as farmland. <laughs> yeah. So he buys this land. And just makes a new city in it virtually, you know, like as his own sort of um, police force in there. Yeah. Takes yeah. takes over the town because there's only about forty people that live in the town. They're looking for a mayor. Yeah. They go all put a candidate up, and they just all vote. So you got like, so I will vote. So like, so we've got fifty thousand to forty. Do you know what like, <laughs> no one mayor like? And then it, it like sort of stretches into the state where he's trying mm. to take the state over. Yeah, yeah. and it's crazy. He's got like. Um, I think he had a different Rolls Royce for a different day, mm. you know. And you just oh, wow. he, he was just like stupid, yeah, stupid rich Americans buying yeah. into this sort of um, this guru, like and throwing all the money at it, so mm. they could mm. live in in some commune somewhere, like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, watch it. I'll not tell you any more than <laughs> yeah, that. But, I'll have to watch because the first one's a little it drags a little bit. The first episode, once yeah. you get past the first one, you're just going, "Wow, this is crazy!" Like, yeah. but some parts of it, you just got more power to them. Do you know yeah, what I mean? They just yeah, want to yeah, live like, live uh, like a peaceful life or whatever. Mm. You know, like a lot of cults start like that, don't they? Yeah, yeah, the, they do, yeah. The Jonestown cult. I watched the documentary. You know, where the, the Jonestown one is where they all committed suicide. That's the Kool Aid. Yeah, it? yeah. You know, where they say, don't be drinking the Kool Aid. That's where the saying comes mm-hmm. from. Where they were forcing it down people's necks at one yeah. point, you know, when they're in some, because they'd bought a piece, plot of land in Nicaragua or somewhere, <laughs> yeah. you know, like one of them. <laughs> but they were completely safe because the people wouldn't attack them because they were Americans and they thought, eh, we'd better leave them like sort of 500 Americans alone because we don't want to get nuked or something. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because they're Americans. <laughs> yeah. So, but it, it ended up where he was brilliant at first. He, he looked like Elvis. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He'd come on and do his sermons and everything. Yeah. And he was the only person at the time that had mixed congregations. Black mm. people could mix with white people. And I was just going, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. He's a nice guy, this guy. Mm. And then it's just like, then you're watching it, he's just like, oh my God, no, this guy's weird. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. To a point where he like wants everybody to die. Like, mm. he's a fruitcake. But they always start off so well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, with good intentions. Just, just if you're going to start a cult, just because go for the first few months <laughs> yeah. then leave and then leave yeah. you know I mean? it's going to get shit finish on a high yeah. Yeah. finish on a high yeah exactly <laughs> like Butlins yeah. Butlins stayed so well in the 70s didn't it shit no yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right so you, you both also run Clouded Sight Pictures which yeah, yeah. day ones under Star Warriors under yeah. Um, yeah. Dreamfinder yeah. I forget the names of them already <laughs> um so what what you what is your plans with with that now? Are you are you? Well, it's just like a, it's an umbrella really for all the it is, yeah. It, it's an umbrella for all the things that we're doing. So we might not necessarily work on everything together, mm. yeah. But w- when we do do something, it's likely to come in under that umbrella, yeah, for right. sure. Because we're, because that's the no, that's the brand that we want to get out there, yeah. So that people so that then people will pay us to do their to do their stuff as well, mm. yeah. Because that's the, the that that's the bottom line really. We want to get paid for what we're doing. Yeah. As yeah. well as everything else. That's the dream. Isn't that's, it? The, yeah. that's the dream that's the dream for everybody, yeah. isn't it? I mean, you know, things like uh doing day one and that, mm. the end the end result, we want to get paid for doing it. But that's something that that we're doing as a joint yeah. as a joint venture. We're yeah. both producing it and that. So it's just one of those things that we it's easier to make day one. Yeah. Than it is to go out and do Storm Warrior, yeah, Dream yeah. Finder, oh, or anything else because you need a shitload of money for the yeah. others. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas this, we've kind of worked it out where we, we could do it. You know, it might be a bit tight at times. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah we, re- we thought we can do this one. I swear it alters your writing as well. When, you, when you've when you got it in the back of your head that you want to go and make it. Yeah. You know, you stop sort of writing in like, 
masses of like sort of oh, <laughs> he, he walks up to ten thousand uh, warriors yeah. with yeah. Like, oh, fuck it. he walks up to ten warriors <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, when you're actually when you're writing you you're really expansive when you're writing yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. when it comes down to actually thinking about how much it's going to cost to make it i've, I've had two writing tutors when i when yeah. i was at uni one i know I, I, I was one of them i'd write something and i'd be planning it in my head all the time mm. yeah I'd be going, well i can't get a church maybe i can get a shed yeah do you know what i mean and mm. i'd write these scripts around everything that i could get yeah sort mm. of thing, yeah and then she went listen just stop doing that for now do you know mm. what i mean I've, yeah. I've 12 months off like always having it in the head that you're going to write them yeah mm. so i wrote loads of crazy shit do you know what i mean that i'd never be able to make in a million years yeah, like, yeah. but it does it opens you up yeah, it does, but yeah. things like if you do get these opportunities in the future you're mm. already prepared you know yeah, you've got that yeah. mindset that you can just turn yeah. off yeah but then i had another writer who went we're living in the real world here, though, aren't we? Yeah. If you yeah. want to go out and make this yeah. stuff, then you're going to have to tighten it back up like, yeah. and start yeah. thinking, like, mm. oh, you're going to have to do that. Yeah. So it's like, all oh, right, I'll write something about a university then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I can get that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's true though. It's all, but it's all based around how much money you can get to yeah. do something. Yeah. If you can get That's twenty-five it. million quid, yeah. you, there's a lot you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God, yeah. yeah. But when you're making something like day one or whatever like then you're not going to get that kind of money you end up doing it yourself i think having a, a back catalog is really important it though. is yeah you yeah know, we got more, loads. more important <laughs> <though>. <laughs> if we had the money we could be working for the next 20 30 fucking years yeah. oh yeah no you've got a back catalog of uh, things that are in the pipeline we yeah. Need, yeah we need finished things finished stuff oh, finish finish things, things yeah. that you can sort of go to someone and go look you know give us some money this is what we've done in the past yeah, bum, yeah. Bum, 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 yeah. you know yeah. what i mean and sort of try and impress them so things like that might end up costing you personally mm. money yeah uh, but it's for an overall it good is, yeah. sort of thing it is yeah, yeah. yeah i mean it's like i see it as a an expensive hobby but it's no more expensive than sort of having a fucking classic car or something yeah, yeah. You know what i mean i was speaking yeah. to darren earlier who's doing some painting in house and he was saying he, he's, he has classic cars mm. yeah so he had one that cost look he's lucky though because he sells them after mm. you yeah know what i mean so he doesn't keep them but the, these people who keep like a classic car mm. forever dumping money in them yeah do you know what i mean yeah. and it's Loads. Like, yeah. car. it's a piece of metal mm. at the yeah. end of the day you know like at least with like say making films or something especially in this day and age you, even if it only goes on youtube or whatever yeah, yeah. it's there yeah. it is unless we have on. like some major emp that sort of knocks out the entire planet <laughs> it's always going to be there it's yeah. always going to be you know there, what i mean yeah. it's the shit st stored in it and saved mm. like so at least you've got something as like a part of a legacy or whatever yeah. you, know what I mean? mm. you yeah. can look back on even if you even if you're 60 and go Fuck, i can't believe i'm doing films yeah Do you know what i mean or whatever yeah. and like you're both astronauts <laughs> 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 on your third mars trip traveling yeah. in tubes <laughs> yeah <laughs> a, a, a moon lift yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right we're going to go back into your acting now um favorite roles mm. In fact, I'm going to ask you for on both for production as well, but for now, acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Dev, what was your favourite role? Uh, favourite role. Mm. Was probably. Yeah. It was probably um when I was I was working on Perfect Skin. Um. The. It was a, sm a small role, hmm. um, but it was it was almost it was it was a really sort of pivotal role. I was playing um, a police sergeant, right? Um, and it's uh, <laughs> it, I, I think I loved it because it suited me so well, right? Because I w I just had to be like super sarcastic, right? Do you know like in um, Hot Fuzz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the the desk sergeant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was who, who in Hot Fuzz? changes every time you see him yes he does yeah he's he's yes that's right yeah, yeah. well in theory yeah you never find out yeah no, you, don't. Know, yeah. Yeah. you think yeah um it was a, a very similar character to right. him um but it, it i just i just loved loved it right i loved i loved i loved it and i got to work with richard Brake. i've not seen that i'd have to watch that mm. is it, is it's it not out yet it's oh, only just it? premiered last week at um the horror fest down in london right right which I think is called Horror Fest. I think it, it is, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, I, I for, for me, your best is uh, playing Keith. <laughs> Keith <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, oh on yeah, the radio no, player. that was so much fun. In fact, I'm going to play a clip now. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Check this thing, Rob. What the hell is that? Captain Backflash decided that, in light of recent budget restrictions, it might be better if you two traveled in one of the planetary landing space toilets. Oh, come on. Cosmic dude. An alien portal Hey, what's that hole for, Crank? That's where you do your number threes, of course. Cool. What's a number three? Don't ask. Come on, let's get this over with. Oh, bit stanky. Oh, it's not much room. Oh, stop pushing, human. I need to program the controls. Oh. Whose elbow is that? It is an elbow, isn't it? Actually, quite cosy once you get used to the stench. Human, surely you need not be this close. <laughs> Coordinates confirmed. Ready for launch sequence. Ready for takeoff. But may the blessings of the ancient ones go with you. So yeah, Keith, I I, I thought you played. That was uh, really destroy really... all humans. <laughs> yeah, destroy yeah, all yeah. humans. <laughs> <laughs> I played I played a clip on. Uh, I can't remember who we're talking to on one of the podcasts previous to this. Mm. I put that in as a clip. Uh, so I've used a different clip. <laughs> 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 so it's your favourite role? No, no, I, I I did. I really enjoyed that that role. That was that was so much fun to do. Oh, Keith, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, was, I was just because I, I know that one. Yeah, you know I mean, I know, I know you know the characters that you played and and stuff. What about you, Alex? Uh, I've enjoyed everything that I've done, but the most enjoyable didn't particularly have anything to do with with acting although i was playing the lead in it right it, it, it was a film called dance with the devil right and i i was playing the lead in it and i was a gangster right that f- uh had a bit because you're a, a cock in it <laughs> <laughs> had a bit of, had, yeah, yeah he had a bit of a uh he had a bit of a thing for a lap dancer right in this in this club and it's loosely based on rumple stiltskin you know where you, oh, right. where uh, she gets three wishes or whatever that yeah. kind of thing yeah and uh, this lap dancer she's in debt right you know and he offers to pay off her debt so you're like a devil or something yeah kind of you know no no but he's not the devil the devil is uh, actually right. working in the background right 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 and uh, but what it is is that he turns around and uh, he says that well I'll pay off your debt but he, on three conditions. Right. One is that he gets free drinks whenever he comes into the club. Right. Two, he gets, you know, free lap dances and stuff like this. Yeah. And the, the third one is that he takes her out into the car park and gives her one in the back of his car kind of thing, like, you know. Right, you do. Of which, of which she's not overly keen on. Right. Right, it, it, it reminds me, is this the story of Trump? <laughs> 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 but he's cost him 130 grand a pop, don't he? Yeah, these days, yeah. Right? <laughs> and so uh, it's so though that's it's loosely based around that. The to but to cut a long story short, she ends up doing him out of the money that he gives her, right? Right, and he gets thrown out of this uh strip club, right? And uh, she gets he, he gets his own back in the end because. She's she gets mugged when she's coming out of the club later on by a couple of druggies. Yeah, like you know, so she you know the couple of druggies they they mug her, take all her fucking money, and then as she's trying to struggle out of this alley, the first person she comes up against is this this gangster, right, right, who who basically just finishes her off and walks away, mm. right, right, and that's pretty much that. So I that the one I enjoyed the that's the one I enjoyed the most because I got to spend a week in a strip club. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and all the extra and all the extras were half naked or doing pole dancing or lap dancing or whatever like right right, right. and the young stripper was gorgeous as well so excellent that's the most enjoyable role by far <laughs> <laughs> that was well, a real treat that was what about your worst roles mm. what's the go, you can name and shame on this no one's listening uh, to this podcast at the minute anyway <laughs> mm. <laughs> um Worst roles. Uh, it's a tough one, to be honest. Because it's one of those things that the, the things that you don't enjoy, you don't remember. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah true. Yeah. So, Probably a bad question. Um, yeah, I suppose I did. Um, it was about three years ago. I did um, a student film. <laughs> no, your student. No, film. no, I think I know which one you mean, though. Is um, it the one with the, the girls? Uh, no, no, oh, no, no, it's oh. a different one. It was just me. 
Right. And I was asked to be a a, a dad, as usual. Yeah, the one that, like, he's trying to drown the, the daughter in the bath or something, or rape her in the bath. Oh, that was terrible. But this is a different one again. Right, right, right. right. Um, it was a student film, and I was asked to play a dad, and I was I was playing a very sort of Ricky, Ricky, what's he called? Ricky Tom? Tomlinson. Yeah. yeah. Very similar character to... to uh, Royal from Family. Royal Family. Yeah. Um, and it was a wedding, and... Um, it was just, I just didn't, the, the character and the script itself was, was, was fairly good. Yeah. It was just really badly produced. Right, right. You know, there was, I just didn't enjoy it. Right, yeah. Well, that's fair enough. Mm. Yeah. What, what about you? Um, I'd say it was, I, I, did a, I did a film where um, it was about PTSD and mental illness and that about some this guy that was coming back from Afghanistan and how he was hearing voices and all sorts of shit like that like you know and during the whole process of the film it looked like it was going to be a really good really good film like you know a good short film it was only going to be about 20 minutes long and that and we all felt like we did a good job yeah you know and but but at the end when we watched the edit back the finished article and this is what they were going to be putting out to festivals and everything else like that. Yeah. It, it was actually embarrassing to watch, you know, and it's one of them ones where you just wanted to fucking bury it. Right, you know, right, it's right, like, right. there's, there's no, <laughs> there is absolutely no way that I was going to share that yeah. anywhere. So it killed in the edit. I think it was killed in the edit. Yeah. I don't think I, it, the, the edit absolutely murdered the, murdered it, which made it, it was, it was actually quite enjoyable doing it. Yeah. But it wasn't, you know, that end article was the end edit was such a letdown yeah, yeah, that yeah. it just made it the worst experience, I think. Right. So next next question. Du, du, well, du, du. <laughs> <laughs> it took me far too long to go through that. <laughs> I'll cut it out so it only seems like a second, that gap. Yeah, um, yeah well, what do you enjoy most about filmmaking? Let's go back onto filmmaking. Mm. Uh, mm. I think the the thing about the thing about filmmaking is it's it's for me it's not necessarily the actual pro the actual filmmaking process. Yeah, it's more I I enjoy the writing aspect. Right, and um, why don't you just write then? Yeah, but the problem I have, <laughs> the problem, the problem I have is that when I write it, <clears throat> yeah, I want to make it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah that's that's the thing, isn't it? You yeah. know, mm. and so, have you tried audio drama? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> easy to organize. It's a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be. It's. I don't know. I just. I just. If I've if I've written it, then I. I've, and I'm and I'm like this with everything. It's like you know I have to do this because if I do it, I know that I've done it how I want it to be done. And I'm terrible yeah, like that. Yeah, it's ownership, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Control freak. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I'm, I'm the same. Honestly, I can, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I go with that as well because I'm the same. Um, I do a lot of that. But I've sort of started releasing things, you know, a little bit mm. easier these yeah. days and just going, eh, fuck it, if it goes, if it goes tits up. Yeah. I just go, well, I could have done a better job. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And if it's brilliant, I'll go, it's because of the fucking brilliant writing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you win-win, really, yeah. you know, on yeah. that sort of situation, and as far as excuses go. Yeah. You know. And I also I also really enjoy the editing part. Right. I really enjoy, I, I, I love. You, you've just advertised for an editor, though. I know, but do, do you know what you need is feedback. Yes, it's a kill. You, and I know what you you won't fucking give anything out to get feedback with. Where's what? my script as well, by the way? Which one? My fucking signed script that I paid ten pound towards your day one for. Oh, you'll you'll get it. I was one of the. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll get, get it. it. Yeah, you'll get it. What do they call them? First, um, first editions. No, no, I was one of the first people to. Um, mm to give to your campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first 10, I got an email saying, oh, you got yes. a bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking where's my bonus? Yeah. yeah. You will get it, don't worry. <laughs> I'll be able to read your script then because you wouldn't send it in for feedback. Oh, I'd, I'd, I, 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 I was I'd just, just so busy and I just... I know, it must have been really difficult. Mm. It's so busy to send that email with an attachment. <laughs> I think... <laughs> no, it's one of those. I just want, at that point, I wasn't completely happy with it. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? So... 
You, you should never be completely happy with no. it. No. And what, no. you should, what you should do more is, I was terrible for it myself. Mm. I, I used to hate getting feedback at one point. Yeah. It was just mm. like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just argue to shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. People yeah. are giving me feedback. And then slowly but surely, you get more and more mm. feedback on different things. And you go, well, maybe I wasn't. Yeah, maybe I could do that, but yeah, a bit different or whatever. Yeah. And then you do it, and you, 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 it's like it was part of your fucking idea anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? it's, yeah. You know, again, feedback's really, really important. It is. Yeah. yeah, I think we're doing it with the trailer, aren't we? We are. Yeah. When, when the trailers, when we've got it as near as damn it as we like it. Yeah. I think we're we're going to put that out to ten people. Was it? Mm. I think. Yeah. Five or ten. Yeah, ten people. It, just, I wouldn't even hold it to back get to that. Some, no. get, fucking send it out. Do you know what I mean? It's just get like loads and loads of it. people. Mm, yeah. But, I mean, just be choosy with who you. Yeah, I mean, there's point of sending it to like your mum or so much. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. 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 The, the idea was good, like. the idea was that it goes to people that aren't involved directly with with the production, and we try and go for like five sort of peers, so other filmmakers, for example. Yeah. Yeah. And five sort of film watchers. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. So we get sort of a, a, a range of sort of mm. perspectives. Yeah, yeah. I think we kind don't, of don't get yes men. Yeah, we, no, 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 we don't want. I, I don't want that. I fucking hate that. Yeah. When it comes, there, there's nothing, and you you know they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Is that you? You ask them a question, and they go, "Yeah, yeah, that's fucking brilliant." That. Yeah. yeah. But you know it's not brilliant. Yeah. You know you know what you what bits you don't particularly like yeah. about it that you're going to change anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So for them to turn around and say it's brilliant, you know, they're just yes people. Mm, and, yeah. and that's the, there's no feedback in that. I'd sooner have somebody turn around to me and say, that's fucking shit, that. Well, as long as it's constructive, yeah, it's got to broke down into what is shit. Right? Yeah. You, can, it, you can always tell, you can always tell because yeah. yes men is because they always respond with, yes, I like it. And that's yeah. it. And they never yeah. say anything else, yeah. yeah. There's no, there's it's, no it's sort point, of, point, point it's, not, it's not helpful. Yeah, no, I don't know, yeah. No, no, it that's, isn't pointless. That's no no help whatsoever. That right. Um, let's see. Next bit. Gripes. I've just put gripes. Gripes. Yeah. You you've had a gripe recently. Someone have you had some Facebook? Th- that's why I go off Facebook. Me, no, I ain't on Facebook no. me anymore. But half your message always comes up on it's just, Twitter. It's just. It's basically um, my children were with an agent. Um, I'm a professional, so I'm not going to give any names or anything. But you're a, your previous agent. Previous agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my 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 two daughters with with this particular agent. We were with them for a long time, long yeah. time, four four years, I think. Yeah. Um, I even worked for her as a drama teacher for a while. Right. Um, mm-hmm. and uh, basically, I sent an email saying that I was unhappy with a few a few points. Right. Um, like every client does to their agent. Yeah. And um, she responded by putting a post on Facebook. Right. Not. So it has gone to social media. That's what's made Yeah, worse. putting a post, not not responding to the problems and, right. and sorting them out. She just immediately went to Facebook to, A, share private information about my situation at the time. Right. And also. What did she put? Uh, basically that, um, this, I can't even remember the, the wording, but it was something like, um, this guy has, uh, can never go to, um, can never go to London auditions cause he's got no money. Um, and, uh, I've always only, only ever done the best for me and look what, look what he sent me. Right. Right. Um, and then some other bullshit about how how I, I i i never respond to her email. she's never emailed in her, emailed me in her life right ever has, has this got something because i i seen a post where you were setting up a talent agency of your own has that not got anything to do with the, her getting annoyed because no because i spoke to her first that was that was about six months ago right mm-hmm. i spoke to her i said look i'm thinking of doing this right um is that going to be a problem yeah, you know, because if it is, then I'll leave. You know, I don't, I don't want to step on any toes. I, I don't want to step on any toes or anything. Yeah. Um, but it's something I want to try. It might not work out. It didn't in the end. Right. It didn't work out. Um. But at the time, I needed to find a way to earn some more money. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And bring in more money. things. Mm. Yeah, that's it. I was, I was, I was trying a few things, and and I wanted to keep it within the industry because I love it. Yeah. You know. 
I mean, it's so difficult though, when it working with other people. They've just got their own agenda. Of, yeah, you know, everybody's got yeah. their own fucking yeah. agenda. It's, it's, it is really difficult. I know that. I, I tried doing. Um, I was doing Randolph the uh, film. Yeah, mm. it's, I, I've, I've not binned it, abandoned it, or anything like that. I've just sort of like life's just taken over a little yeah. bit, mm, yeah. and I've just had to put it to one side for the for the minute. Yeah, and I had to do it a while ago. The um, crowdfunder. Yeah, but it wasn't going to go anywhere. No, yeah. and it was fucking brilliant the way it set it out. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I was like, I was quite impressed with it myself. Yeah, going, yeah, yeah. it's good that. <laughs> and then it was just like fucking ten pound, and you're going fuck off. <laughs> you know, I can't be asked with all the no. posts all the time and all the I harassment know. that you have to do to I try know. and get fucking someone release a fiver. You know, it's I ridiculous. Know. Like. I know it is ridiculous. Tell me about it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're practically. It is. It's full time. Your... It's blood. a full time yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. It is a full time job. Crowdfunding. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it is. It's yeah. too much like a full-time bloody job, that is, trying to get money. I know. Is it half of the time you think, I may as well just go and do a few more hours at work and just pay mm. for the fucking thing <laughs> myself. It'll yeah. save me time doing yeah. the fucking crowdfunding. Yeah, yeah. At least you sort of get a bit more out of it then. Yeah. So you just go, well, fuck, I paid for it myself as well. No one's had to pay or anything like that. Mm. Yeah. I think, it's yeah. Only, I think it's only when you actually get into it that you realise just exactly how fucking hard it is. Yeah, mm. yeah. You don't realise just we you know, how much. Before, we? Yeah, you don't realise how much you've got to put into it just to get so little back as well. Mm, like, you know, yeah. and people don't realise how hard you're working. And sometimes think. you'll you'll get people that are just so enthusiastic and like really into it, but they don't put any money in. No, they won't yeah. put anything. Yeah. In. I mean, I mean, and it's fair enough fine. if they're going to yeah. if they're going to share it about. Yeah, and, got yeah. and that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's it, but that can be quite frustrating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think my worst thing is fucking precious people in the industry i Pre can't be precious dead, yeah precious because mm. i'm quite blunt me yeah well i i, I me i'm i call it being honest i'm just straight up mm. i'm a straight down the line I, i'm the same. person yeah i think I'm. right so but people call me blunt because i'm not stroking their ego or whatever yeah you know so because i am uh honest and straight down the line i th think it takes people aback a little bit yeah, yeah and yeah. so that and they uh even uh people that we've worked with recently have says you're a bit blunt aren't you like you yeah, know yeah, yeah. i says well i just it's just me saying it as it is yeah, I yeah, says, yeah if you yeah, want if you want it any be. other way yeah then I, i'm sure that i could work on that for you but but not today yeah it's just the way i am i think yeah. i just i just you know it's a bit like that fucking thing with charlie where's you know where's the fire like you know oh right yeah yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll talk about that in a bit i'll save that one i like yeah that. I, because, I've, I've got a section here with, what's your favorite clip yeah, yeah. It, it's a bit it's a bit like that it's just kind of like but where's the fucking fire you yeah know? so it, it's i'm not going to dress it up nicely for people i just say it as it is at the time you know well i, t I tell you what we'll, we'll take that we'll do this in context i'll play the clip yeah right, mm. so this is a clip of the documentary starring dave and alex and it's about them to. I, I did the pitch line before. I can't be asked doing it again. <laughs> Basically, they're trying to make two, a film and a TV series. And this yeah. one's about Vikings. We shot it in, or you shot it in <clears throat> Dolby Forest in Dolby Leeds. Forest, yeah. Um, yeah. And it snowed. What a day that was. <laughs> what a day. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to snow. No. So this is the clip of the section that we're talking about now. Tell, please tell me you've built a fire. We've not built a fire, no. Why not? We need, one. we need a fire. We need a fire. Yeah. It's gonna right. be, it's we need a fire for the light as well. Because right. we're going to do the lake scene now. Right. And then we're going to do the sea scene after that. Right. What time do you reckon it'll be? That's we'll be, we'll be say, f how long do you think for that scene that I said? 45 minutes? Do you think we could do it that quickly? What, the, uh, the Indian The, the lake scene, yeah. Basically, I can do it quicker. Right. Okay. Quicker. Say 45 minutes. At most. An yeah. hour tops. Yeah. Right. And that's so, but we need a fire. We do see a scene after sunset, but not too dark. And sunset. also, did you bring cooking oil and stuff like that? Today? Um, Joshua was going to head down for some. Yeah, right, okay. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, we need to get methate spirits. Yeah. Anything else burning? Yeah. So. Well, I did have some methate spirits, but we didn't uh, pack them. Oh, yeah. I've got some vodka in my bag. <laughs> that burns. So that's, that burns. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the sauce. Have you burned that? <laughs> right, so, put, so to put that into context, you hear me at the end actually say, I've got some vodka in my bag. He goes, yeah, that'll burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and to be honest, I think I stopped it there because I was like going, oh, because that's one of my favourite clips yeah, in the entire mind. documentary. Yeah. You're yeah. just thinking that's that's suited so well. Yeah. I mean, Charlie looks a bit of a dick on it. Yeah, do you know what I mean for for a player? Um, mm. But he wasn't that organised. What, what no, was his role? No. What was his role? His his one job that day was to set up that 
That's um, all he had to do. That, all he had to do was to, all he had to do <laughs> was to set up the that scene. Oh right, right. Uh, for the seer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was just getting later and later on in yeah, the day anyway, yeah, yeah. and we realised that we needed a fucking fire. Yeah. And so I already said, you know, we need a fire, right, well, for it. And he, well, and I said, make sure that we've got the, make sure we've got a fire. Yeah, we we we've discussed. I've discussed this with Charlie. Mm. I think you were with us yeah. at the time, and we were discussing it. Mm. And um, he Charlie says he says, yeah, but it's a good job you stopped it. Well, you did on the clip because he says after it, I tell him like, oh, you never told me about a fire before this, and blah 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 no, blah blah. Didn't. And I'm like, you lying fucker, <laughs> because I did let that fucker roll. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know you didn't say all no, that shit. Never. I was there, man. He said absolutely <laughs> yeah. nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's a funny bit. That. That's, <laughs> what, that's why I got used on the trailer. Yeah, you know, yeah. Thing. I think my other favourite bit is a bit that you just don't notice, mm. and it's um, it's a it's a Dolby Forest again, and I'm asking you, or I'm asking you both actually, you both mm. stood there, and I say, so are you on um, are you on time or are you on schedule? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say yeah, and you say no at exactly the same yeah, time, yeah. and as you, you say no, and Alex says yeah, and then you start talking, so like Dave's face sort of goes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like hopefully he didn't hear me but the word I just said no like at the same yeah. time <laughs> mm. not in sync I think in the end once we actually started filming it was like we were five hours before yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was no wonder with having to truck people yeah, over and all that was that was nice and so. actually not being able to get up there anyway yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, with yeah, the people yeah. that we had it's, it was... so for people who don't know who've not seen the film go and watch it it's called Independent Dreams the documentary it's on Amazon Prime and some other shit things <laughs> so yeah it's on like Google and uh, Hulu, uh, is it uh, YouTube, YouTube, iTunes, YouTube, is it? Where, YouTube, no one will, YouTube where no one will pay for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's on iTunes where no. One, oh, it's iTunes. I think is popular uh, as in renting films. Yeah, yeah. in America. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Um, but the one to watch it on is Amazon Prime for me. Yeah, yeah, Amazon it's Prime. It's fucking yeah. free if you've got Prime, and it's, and it's yeah. worth it as well. It's a good view. <clears throat> it is. Yeah, it is it's a good yeah. view. And um, so the, the section. They were supposed to be going filming Viking sort of battles and things like that in yeah. um, Dolby Forest as a dry Dolby Forest, mm. and it fucking snored like <laughs> shit the night before. Yeah. Oh, just on our way down, more it was on yeah, the way down, like three in the morning it, or whatever it was. Yeah, but... We was we were on our way down at about our four or five o'clock or whatever it was when it and it and yeah. it just snowed and snowed and <laughs> we'd, snowed, and we'd only had about an hour's sleep as we well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It crazy, weren't it? Yeah, because we were like, waiting for the DLP. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, he, he, he turned well, up at three in the morning. I, I felt sorry for Simon, yeah. me though, yeah, because yeah. he seemed like a dead nice guy and everything, and he just like didn't quite have the skill set at that time mm. to pull something off like yeah. that with with what equipment he was using. Yeah, yeah, it was like because he didn't. I was biting my tongue so hard on some bits where it was going, fucking screen's blue. Like, it's because your fucking white balance is all to cut. You yeah. need to do your white balance like. Yeah. But I, I was like sort of, oh, do I tell you, I've got to document this shit. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It was like I was so sort of torn between it. I think I did tell him. Eventually, well, I think yeah, he, he did. I think he ignored me he anyway. Did. He did. He it's carried like, on anyway. But he well, kind of you film everything blue. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> We'd ask him a question and he'd go, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was his answer to everything. And, and then turn it upside oh, down. The sections in that though, where he's trying to speak and mm. you just keep talking over every time. Yeah. Like, and he's going, yeah, but we and you've got yeah, and then we've got to do and then you've got yeah, but and then we've got to do <laughs> it's like this full section where you just like completely yeah. ignore him. It's quite funny, but yeah, it was um, it was an experience all that, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was definitely. It was it was definitely a learning curve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you found what we did do is you find out a lot about people that day mm. over those two days. Yeah, mm. yeah you no, find out who's on your side and who's not on your yeah. side, yeah. big time. Is it, I think after as well, you know, like we were mm. trying to get releases for the um, documentary. Yeah. It's like, fair enough, you're not in it all the way through. You're only in it a clip, but yeah. you know, mm. you're in it. So yeah. give us a release form and, mm. or we'll take you out or whatever. Yeah. Not that it was going to go anywhere. Do you know what I mean? I <laughs> yeah. just muted the face or whatever. Yeah. 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 Like, because there's like them classic bits that, which are cleverly, cleverly crafted in the edit, I must admit. It's like, um, I use, I use part of it as a lesson, you know, the edit. Oh mm. yeah. I'll, I'll, t- I'll explain this bit first. You know the bit where she does the arrow? Mm. Yeah. And in the trailer, you go, it's going to be the best fucking thing since sliced bread. And then you see this woman go, boing, yeah. and the arrow goes <laughs> fucking nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like sort of t- complete yeah. contradiction yeah, to the yeah. term. Like. So yeah, good film grammar. Mm. But uh, teaching film grammar and like the way that you can construct the narrative in an edit. Yeah. And I use the bit where it's Sam 
and she's kicking off saying, doesn't do anything at home. Mm. You know, and she like, she turns around and he's dead mm. random. Cause it was, it was funny with Sam. Mm. But like at first she was sort of, um, she didn't want to really say anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I just asked one question, dude. And she just let yeah. rip. <laughs> it was like a constant <laughs> rant for an hour. Do you know what I mean? It was like, fuck it. I was, I was struggling to keep up with her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She's going, going around cleaning and I'm trying to film her yeah. as she's ranting. Do you know, all this fucking like sort of, um, all these rants coming out cause she was so pissed off at the time. Like, which, which partners get like you know when yeah, you're working yeah. on something so yeah. closely yeah. like that, mm. but it, it makes good fucking mm. document yeah. uh, documentary entertainment anyway, <laughs> especially because she cries. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds harsh, but you just it's that bit where you go oh, fucking hell, you know, like yeah, uh, someone's yeah. even crying because of this production being. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like it's got to that point. Mm. Um, but the bit I use is Sam turns around and goes, "He does nothing at home. He, he doesn't clean. He doesn't." Cl-. And I show two sections. As she says it, you know, you use the B-roll, you couple yeah, yeah. to other things. Mm. She goes, there's nothing at home, you see Sam. And then the next clip, she, her voice continues as she, he doesn't clean. And I show all the clips where you're doing the washing up, mm. doing, you know, doing some else, and you're yeah. doing things, mm. which, to be honest, was a bit unusual. <laughs> <laughs> I think I set them shots. So I was I like, dude, go do wash it up and I'll ask you some questions. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. it's like something like So you're doing some yeah. yeah, so you're yeah. doing some so I've I've put, cobbled all them together, and then I show it again, mm. and I go oh, right, and she goes, he does nothing at home, and then I show the clip where you sat <laughs> fucking slouched down in the couch with your laptop <laughs> on your knee, like with your phone just tapping on your phone, just completely ignoring me in the room and everything. <laughs> and then I ask the students, which is the true one? Mm, yeah, do you know what I mean? And it's like, well, I don't know. Do you know what is the truth? Mm. And it's because it's all cleverly constructed yeah, from yeah. the editor. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So you really have to sort of when you're watching the documentary, mm. it isn't fucking most of it isn't real anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. the way that the editor yeah. or the narrative has been constructed. Yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, that that's an observational documentary. Mm. I didn't know where you were going, I didn't know what mm. you were doing. You yeah. know. I mean, some bits were like sort of right, I'm gonna to come to your house and ask you some yeah. questions today and we'll go mm. for a drive or yeah. whatever. Uh but most of it was a general sort of like, oh yeah, we're going to fucking Denmark. Like, yeah. fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to Denmark making this, like. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a really, it's a really well constructed film. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it when I watched it. Yeah. Right? Good. So, Wait, what's your favourite bit in it? You'll have a fa- you'll have a worse bit as well, won't you? Where you go, fuck's sake. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite bit is probably where, um, <laughs> where we we've basically just wrapped on that first scene that's taken us like seven hours to do mm. um and everyone fucks off which scene's that the first one yeah the first one up in we the only did one snow. really it was, the, it was supposed to be like a battle scene wasn't it like, yeah you know and it took fucking oh, and then we right, all go right, to right, the right. car park yeah. and everyone fucks off and oh, there's me right. me and two others that <laughs> you bring oh, the camera God, over yeah. yeah and i swear <laughs> to god i'm sure right um your mate what's his name the writer david I'm, oh yeah i'm david. naming him shaming yeah mm. what's his name keo yeah david keo mm. david keo's having a bit of a giggle there dude leaving you in the cold <laughs> i'm telling you you can see it on camera you can't, you can't you can't deny the evidence is there man yeah because everybody sneaks into alex it's your car isn't it? yeah yeah I, and you're going, uh, feeling awkward as fuck because they'd all already jumped in yeah, the car. Like, yeah. uh, I'm sure there's another car over there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it's a good bit. Because you're freezing your ass as well, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's a, this is a good bit, actually. It ends the scene, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It does, yeah. 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 And you come over and I go, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there with Although I have got three a brew back then. Someone have brought a brew up for yes, me. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Claire. Yeah, it is. It yeah, it's Claire, yeah, and some that, that guy. It was Claire, um, Claire but I had two pairs of gloves on and everything. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, was, I was dead warm. Yeah, I had my big coat on. I, could, I couldn't, I couldn't, I literally couldn't feel my body after that. No, I know. I remember that, that, yeah. um, that big guy, you know, the uh, bodybuilder. Oh, Richard, yeah, Richard. Richard. Came yeah. running about with a loincloth on. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Jesus. I just thought, I, I, I remember looking at him thinking, Oh my fucking god! Like, yeah, that's hey, that's you, really hardcore. You about asked it. him to do it as well. You, oh, oh yeah, just... no, I asked him to do it. Like, I didn't expect him to turn up and just walk around like, like the whole day. I know that's it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, no, he was. Um, that was a. I'll, I'll show you how fucking manly I am. Yeah, yeah I walk around in my loincloth all fucking mm. <laughs> through the snow. <laughs> it's like fucking hell, dude. Put a coat on them. Yeah. You're fucking ill as shit Jesus. two days like, after. We were going to have a half naked Maria as well, mm. getting out. Oh yeah, of that's the, right. Yeah, the lake, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was that yeah. flipping fucking cold. Like, there storm. was no way that. <laughs> yeah. Was right, oh. So yeah, everything went to shit that <laughs> i mean as soon as the dop pulled out everything went to shit it did yeah, yeah. oh it's constantly like that anyway and yeah. i mean we took bits out you know like yeah. of people like where well, you've been going oh remember the big explanation of um, yeah simon pulling out or whoever it was a director yeah, original yeah. director or whatever mm. there was like a big explanation weren't there but yeah it has to be you know you have to get the gist of things yeah. sometimes just to move it along. Like, yeah, but it worked so, really well. Yeah, it, did. yeah, it yeah. worked really, really well throughout the film. It's, the, it's I, I watched loads of documentaries. Yeah, and I enjoy, and I enjoyed that one more than any of the others. Mm. Yeah, no, I do, but I did, I'm the, I'm thinking, is it because we did it? You know, yeah, I, we, <laughs> yeah. But it's it's hard to to be unbiased, isn't it? But yeah, it is. I hate watching anything that I'm in. Yeah, mm. and I'm in this, and it's like, well. Yeah, and I still enjoyed it. So. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it, but there were some cringy. Because a cringy bit. Mm. Oh, anything with Sam in it. <laughs> oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so nah. Sam, Sam's Dave's missus who's in a big section of it, really. And, and it, <laughs> she is, yeah. But you should just see how she unloads for Because it, it was, like, right at the time when we were really struggling financially. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking perfect time. I know. Yeah, for you, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I think Sam had a pop at everybody, though, she didn't she? Yeah, yeah, she did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, anything anything with Sam in it. Um, and, and probably that... I think this was really good editing. Because we were we were at uh, at the uni doing some green screen stuff, and I was walking down the thing, and you asked me a question, something like, um, "So how's it going?" Yeah, and you didn't want to say something about some bad somebody bad inside. Yeah, but it was actually our fr- the it big was that, guy. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> he was fluffing his lines a bit. Yeah, mm. yeah, and someone walks out. Someone walks out. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a German reaction. Like, fuck, <laughs> fuck it's him, like. But it's not him, is it? No. That was just no. Lee, weren't it? We just yeah, like, yeah. Just, around, a, weren't it? Yeah. just one of the techies, I think. It's just your yeah. face, though. Yeah. You, you look like guilty as yeah. shit, don't you? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have seen your film if it was him coming out. Yeah. The other guy you were yeah. talking uh, about. Uh, <laughs> run away. I, I hated the bit where I was in the dressing gown on the sofa when you came over. Oh, I right. Yeah, as yeah. A kite. Oh, yeah, you yeah. were smashed, right? Yeah. I was on fucking morphine that it's day. Cause right, did bang. stab everybody up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I don't, I, and to this day, I still don't remember what I, the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> I've got no idea. It's only when I looked at that and I thought, oh, so that's what we talked about. I have no idea what, what we were doing. So that's quite uh, uh, cringy. That is mm. like. Yeah, best, I think the best bit for me was. Um, the funniest bit for me was uh, the the Charlie situation, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that was just like really funny, and I liked all the Denmark stuff as well. That was really yeah. well put together, especially uh, Lopez and his little trolley. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, I was always a bit like, have I put this bit in to sort of um, because I liked it, mm. you know, like, um, and I was uh, if I, you know, like the feedback was always yeah. sort of. You're putting that bit in because you like it. And I was saying, well, no, because it is sort of showing, it's like a bonding thing more yeah. than anything. Do you know yeah. what I mean? All these people have come together. Mm. It's a good job I didn't put certain bits in. After all that bonding thing, yeah. there's one bit in it mm. where I go, no, I can't put that in. Um, because like you sort of built up this relationship with all the actors and everything. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and, then, there were, and then you went, yeah, none of them actors are going to be in the original, the finished <laughs> one. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm not putting that in there. No. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure you've changed your mind since since you said that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like, no, I can't do that now. No. I'm, I, I'd, kill, I'd you'd kill you both off with one mm. foul swoop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because of like all the efforts like some people have put into yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's why I say you, you find out a lot about people when you're doing yeah. things like mm. this. But I know it was the Mike's, Mike's influence that. Yeah. Like, you know the director who's going to take over going yeah we're going to kill all the other actors off yeah yeah, yeah. So it was mike yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. but it was you two that said it it wasn't mike that said yeah. it yeah so if i kept that in like people that have watched that and gone 
Fucking wankers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I can't yeah, believe yeah, they've definitely. done that line. They would have slaughtered us, yeah. So it's a good job certain bits I didn't sort of put me uh, artistic yeah. editing mm. styles together. Though. Yeah. I liked the Holiday Road one you did as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really the, yeah. The that, one was, that was one of my favourite videos yeah. of all time. That is. <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah. We had to change the music on the uh, yeah. documentary because it was yeah. original. But the, yeah. the the edit the edit for it the, the whole cut was spot on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, it was it well, it was cut to that originally, and I had to change yeah. the track and slot a slide yeah, the yeah. edit alter mm. the edit like. Yeah. Well, we got the bit with um, Charlie being sick in it. Yeah. <laughs> travel sick. There's another good travel bit. Travel sick. Yeah. That was. But someone calling me evil because I'm filming it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're evil. So, you. It's all going to be yeah. done though, isn't it? That's the. That was what I was there for. <laughs> I was there to to be an observer. You yeah. Know, like sort of that, that. That's the way I wanted it. Mm. Um, I don't think I'll, it's one of them things where I don't think I'll get another chance to make something like that again. No, I've, no. I've recently tried to. To, as as part of this custard room thing where I'm mm. dealing with actors or yeah. comedians or yeah. whatever, pe- you know, people in the industry, I want to do like a bit of a YouTube channel with short docs on. Yeah. yeah. In day in the life of an actor or like someone's plight, you know, one mm. of them like, just, just short ones. Yeah. Um, and I wanted females. I'm thinking, right, it's a thing that's going on in it, you know, like females in the yeah. industry not getting as yeah. much exposure, et cetera. Yeah. I'll get, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll think I contacted like four people couple of them have got back to me but it's a bit like and what it is really they don't want me fucking living in their house with a camera yeah, yeah. and turning up like in the middle of tea time like going hi i'm here to film <laughs> yeah. eating your fucking lunch like yeah do you know they just don't want it do you yeah. know like whereas yeah. you two you, you know you didn't really give a shit so, <laughs> especially you it was forever going like that bit where i go so you do it well i'm not doing so good today then i'm over there <laughs> <laughs> let's get him looking depressed and pissed off with people because <laughs> you've got to have a bit of conflict in things as well. you've got to you have know, something like, I, I know that there was loads of shit eating away at you and you sometimes you were being a bit too politically correct because you didn't want to piss people off yeah with whenever that was going to get real the documentary had been yeah. released or whatever mm. and saw it and things like that which i can understand um there was bits where you sort of like let go, didn't you? Bits, even even bits where you grouped at each other. Mm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to happen. You know, yeah, when you work, work closely with people, so it's going to be. Um, but yeah, for people who haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's really good. It's awesome. And we're not just awesome. saying that because them Torino made it. It's, it is a genuinely. Good, yeah, it is good a genuinely film. good documentary. Yeah. Mm. We're thinking Independent Dreams 2, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should, should have done it on day one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Should, should have followed the day How's it been yeah. going, that? Has it been going seamlessly? Like? N- not seamlessly, <laughs> but <laughs> much better. Much better. Yeah. Oh, much yeah. better. Good, because, I mean, that, yeah. if it didn't, there'd be a, yeah. an issue, wouldn't there? Because you've got to yeah. learn from your mistakes. Of course, of course. No, but, it's been going quite well, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's good. We're really happy with all the footage and... Which is a nice change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're very happy with the footage. Yeah, there's the, there's the cast as well, and are you are you doing with the cast? Yeah, mm, well, you know, we've had some issues with a, f- a few of the cast. Yeah. But, um, just you know, it's it's one of those things when when you're doing a low budget thing, you need people that are as passionate as you are, which is impossible. Yeah. Even <laughs> even if it's yeah. only passionate about acting. Not necessarily the the pr- the project, but passionate about acting, and if they're not, then you know they just don't respond. Yeah. Or yeah. they do, but they they respond when it's mm. f- when, you know when they're ready. All oh, right, are you talking about communication? Mm. Yeah. It's a fuck of communication in it. Mm. Every time I start a new project, it's top of my list. Yeah. So communicate, or else it, as soon as communication dies, yeah, the whole thing's gone. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we had a. We had a ding dong once, didn't we? Did, we? Yeah. With, with over communication, yeah. weren't it? Where I was like, right, the fuckers aren't communicating. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> keyboard warrior. Right, fucker. <laughs> my, hang on, where's my prop keyboard? <laughs> hey, why aren't you responding to my emails immediately? <laughs> But yeah, no, I have it. Same. Pet yeah. Hit. It's like if communication breaks down, then that's it. It's, yeah. It's all gone. Yeah. I, kind of, you, I mean, you've got some, what's, um, what's, the, who's playing one of your lead characters? Uh, the, the woman. I contacted her about doing a documentary and she sort of, because I was saying like, look, I can get access to their one. I know I'm doing what I mean. <laughs> I'll be able to come down with the camera and film behind the scenes. Oh, um, Laura. 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 Yeah. Laura. Yeah. 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 Um, so I contacted Laura. She's not got back to me yet, but yeah. I think she was on the on the edge of sort yeah. of agreeing to do something, you know, yeah. like a uh, thing. Yeah, Megan was another one, mm. but she seems to have been sort of well and truly sort of um, 
immersed herself in in helping really and being she quite, has, yeah. quite Laura's useful. been really good, hasn't she? Laura's been awesome, yeah. Yeah, really good. Right. You can name and shame the ones that are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not released yet. Oh, hang on. So, sorry about that. We just had a little bit of a, a quick break. Quick, quick break. <laughs> quick break. <laughs> <laughs> My painter was leaving. Two hours <laughs> later. <laughs> and then, then I touched the door and he had to repaint the door. We were only told an hour. <laughs> Um, so we were up to the, the people that are a pain in the ass to work with on day oh, one. Yeah, you, you've got you've had a few. I would have thought. Have you? Have you got? You can name them if they've left. Won't matter, will it? Uh, if they've been a pain and then they've left the production, mm, fuck them. Name yeah, them. The, I mean, they've not been a pain as such. No. It's just it's just the communication thing. Right, yeah. right. You know, it's like we we had uh, a girl cast in the role of kate which is like a, a young mother role mm. um um that was a, a young lady called bethany southers and she's on she was on my list for um the documentary thing i bumped into her on twitter i think she yeah. added me mm. i think she's i messaged her and i'm sure she unfollowed me and i'm like yeah I, it bugs me that yeah. So I so I just I think I've unfollowed her now. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's over nothing really. I've yeah. just asked her to be in the documentary and then it's <laughs> yeah. like why unfollow me, Christ. Yeah, I'm not yeah. fucking weird or like it strikes yeah. it strikes me she's a bit like that though. Right, yeah, we had right. we had a couple of issues like we had um we had a, a read through, script right. read through mm. and she sort of told us the same day that she couldn't make it. Right. Because she was right. working. And it, you go, Well surely you knew you were working beforehand. Is it is it what she work as though? I don't know. Right. I I don't know. I don't know if I'm honest. Mm. Uh, but we gave her the benefit of the doubt, didn't we? Then yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, it's always good, you see, to find out what actors do for a living because yeah. if they've got a nine to five or they do whatever, you know, that thing, you can sort of judge around. Yeah, yeah. Where, where they are, mm. but if they're like freelance, it can be difficult because it it's can. like it's that turning down a day's work to go and do a reading or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, I I understand. I understand. Um, you know, it's 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 it's, it's tough. And then um, we were trying to get sort of a sked, just just a, uh, her availability. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and she just wasn't coming back to us. Right, right. Yeah. There's and then when she eventually did, what did she say? Got four days free between the twenty seventh and the thirtieth of August, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was all she had. Right. And so right. we would have had to work the whole schedule around around one person, around right. one person. and you can't she, do yeah, that. Yeah, no, you can't. No. No. So and, we had to um, we had to say we had to say sorry but sorry there and then her replacement mm. has been even fucking worse right 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 is she is she still on the project she's still on it at the at moment, moment but she's had no she's had she's not she's replied not to come anything. back to us who's that <laughs> <laughs> hang on I'll, I'll just pause it <laughs> fire her yeah fire her <laughs> yeah by recording it. but, she's, <laughs> but it, that, that I think the only Everybody's been really lovely. Absolutely, right. <clears throat> it's, spot it's, on. It's just been uh, one or two. Yeah, one or two of them. You, you're going to have that, I yeah. think, Anyway, aren't you? Especially because you're not paying at the minute. Are you? Mm. No, no, we're not. No, no. just expenses and food. Yeah. So it's on people's sort of um, will to do it, really, mm. more than yeah. anything. Yeah. It? I mean, people will do it, obviously, because you get loads of actors. Mm. I mean, I, I I feel it. It's really important to mention that all the extras that we had. In the the last couple of um, couple of shoots were oh, absolutely fabulous, right. amazing, amazing. The kids at the we had, I don't know, sixty odd kids, yeah. something like that at the school that we did, we did a three day shoot at a school. You need to release some pictures of this so that people and, can see that mm -hmm. it's actively going forward. Um, yeah. We had we had, I think we had sixty odd kids over t two days. Was two it? days, yeah. Two days we had like sixty odd kids, right. And they were brilliant, every were. single one of them. The mums and that as well that yeah. were with them. Are they from help, like PQA in places? You know, like no. They well, were all... No, no one from PQA came. No, these were just like local people that yeah, locals. decided they wanted you'd, to come along and that. And they'd, you'd, you'd think that would be a perfect breeding ground for like sort of extras at that age Absolutely, as well. yeah. Yeah. absolutely. But they were fantastic. But, Parents were fantastic. Really, really, it was knackering. The, yeah, I think right. the problem the problem with PQA was that, and I've got a similar issue at the moment, 
is the the safeguarding sort of side of it mm. um because obviously i'm but if they're with the parents it's fine isn't it well yeah yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. going to take on like sort of 40 kids and say like oh, oh. but the parents are actively taking them to lessons mm. you'd think that the parents would actively take them to something that's actually being filmed yeah yeah you know it's, that's the yeah it's the thing in it yeah and it's like them dance moms i know what it's like where, you know like I've worked in places like where, where dance mums have come in. It's like, yeah. oh, for fuck's sake, the dance mums are coming yeah. in. Yeah. You know, and they're like, sort of, <laughs> go on, Charlie, get onto the floor quicker, like, you know, and they're all like, sort of, oh, it's, no, it's like not quite this. on my daughter. Like I can this. see her. She, I, I can't see her from the back there. She needs to be moved forward. And they're just, so, they're horrendous, they some are, of them. Yeah, no, really Not all of them. No, no. Course. But you get these people that have sort of, you know, I will make my daughter do what I wanted to do when I was her age. The thing is, you can actually tell, mm. you can tell by the child when they're on yeah. the set. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, the the mums are more enthusiastic than the kids. And that's yeah. just mm. not, not the way it should be. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, right. So, rate my brew. I've just made a brew. Hang on. Well, I like film to TV too. How about you? And how's your brew? So, on a scale of one to ten, one being poor, ten being very good, rate my brew. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a try. D Dave's got like masses of mics around him as well because my mic broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's really awkward to drink. <laughs> um, I would give it. Don't probably, be a yes man. Don't be a yes I'd man. I probably give it a six. That's all right. I got three off it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's had like um, he's a dead like normally to look at him. He's dead healthy guy. He's mm -hmm. like like I say he's towards like bleeding India and all these like marvelous places around yeah. the world. Yeah. He goes everywhere on a bicycle. His calves are like rugby balls. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But he's just had like an heart attack. Yeah. And I think he doesn't like caffeine. Right. Oh. It's like he likes it like rats piss. Yeah. And it's just like it's not point in having a drink, is there? Yeah. Brew, if you no. do that. Yeah. Like, so I just make a normal bro when he rated it really. I think he was climbing walls because <laughs> <laughs> of the caffeine. Mm. <laughs> Go on, Alex. Uh, I give it a seven. Yeah. Because I like, I like mine stronger than that. I'll make your questions easier now on the quiz. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like Boo, it. Little, yes. I like it stronger than that normally. All oh, right. All oh, right, right, right. I like it a little bit stronger. And I don't use uh, normal sugar at home. I use ah, coconut right. sugar. Ah, right, right, right. Which is because I don't like I don't like uh, refined sugar has got a well, really you, really sweet flavour. You've got it. the unrefined sugar as yeah, well, I've got you? unrefined sugar. Yeah. Well, when, when I got Krellins, he has unrefined sugar. I always yeah, have refined sugar yeah. from him. It's like brown mud, isn't it? Yeah, brown. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the the coconut sugar is made from like the flour, yeah. the coconut flour or something like. That. It's really nice. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm trying to cut down on sugar. Right. Um, I'm going to play you before we go on to the quiz. Which I know you're both looking forward to. I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play you some tips from Randall. In fact, no, you know what? I'm gonna do the quiz. I'm gonna do the quiz first. Right, okay, go for Ooh. it. Here we go. Mixing it up. Quiz time! It's time to test your general knowledge in the world of film and production. Did it? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, done, <laughs> it's done, doopy, done doopy, by doopy, um, doopy. <laughs> AlexanderDoddy.com for all your voiceover needs. <laughs> <laughs> you got Alexander do it for me. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, he's good, a good nice bloke, chap. Alex. Yeah, there you go. Another plug there. <laughs> right, so I don't know whether to ask. I think we should do these singular, shouldn't we? It tends, tends to take some time with people dragging their ass with the answers. Like, <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll make it snappy, um, and I'll mark it down. Because I, I we get to do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh good grief. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I'll tell you what we're on. We're on Eddie did a piss poor job. Mm. He's lived in that cave for too long. He got a three, something like <laughs> three, that. Three, right. And they were dead simple as well. Like, what's this the theme music for? It was like Night Rider or something. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on. You know, I'll do better than that. <laughs> so Mick, um, PhD, Dr. Mick Farr. Mm. I think he got I think he got six. Six. Ah. Lisa got five. Mm. Even though she says she got six, she didn't. She got five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I think Peter got six. Mm. Krillin got five, I think. Yeah. I Did he? he? Got, yeah. That's piss poor Krillin. It is. Yeah. Isn't it? He, wants be a, he wants to be a regular Krillin. Does he? He loves it. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. It's, it's right up his street, though. Yeah. 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 
I, I yeah. think at first it was a bit sort of, you know, like, oh, what the fuck's he making yeah. me do now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we did it. He's listened to it. Like, yeah. And I thought, oh, fucking hell, he's, he's sit on right, Radio 4 with that. <laughs> Radio 4 coming in your ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> your ears. No. Did he bring his flapjacks with him? No, he, I went to him. Yeah. yeah oh. he didn't, didn't make no fucking flapjacks. No though. flapjacks. No. I wouldn't go then. <laughs> 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 yeah, he was. No uh, flapjack, no mic. Playing yeah. his playing his bloody weird instruments that he's got laid around all around his rooms like them. Yeah. You know, all over the place. Like one looks like the harp that Spock plays. Yeah. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It's really yeah. yeah. It's like, what's going on? He loves it. Right. Question one, Dave. In camera. Oh, sorry. What is the in camera feature that alerts over exposure? What's that called? So your in camera feature, you're looking at it. And it, you can tell it's overexposed because it does something. And it's got a term. It peaks. It is peaking. But it's got a term. It does something. It peaks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move on, aren't we? I think we might. <laughs> I'll put a cross on that one. <laughs> that was right. That's uh, zebra. Mm. Zebrin. Oh, the, yeah, you know, of course. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Zebra. On it, yeah. That also points out that you might be blooming as well. Yeah. yeah. Right, Alex. Yeah. You're going to ask me one I don't fucking know now, aren't you? Because I knew that part. <laughs> <laughs> what is colour temperature measured in? Oh, fuck. So, I mean, it's normally, a, you know, you're yeah. like you're 3, 200 um, to 5, 600. Yeah. Oh, good grief. <sighs> and you phone a friend. Yeah, phone no a friend. No phone a friend on this one. <laughs> no, I know, I know this though because I was only looking at it yesterday. It's, oh, it's similar fuck. to a guy's name. It is, yeah. A guy who makes underwear. Mm. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. No? Yeah, he's Kleins, isn't it? Or something like that. Something Kleins. <laughs> What's the first bit? Calvin's. <laughs> <laughs> It's Calvin's. <laughs> so we measure. Kelvin, sorry. We measure Kelvin. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelvin. I'm going to get. Should I give him half? Get half a mark. For half, half. Half. I think half. It was, that was well assisted. That one. It half. was very well make assisted. It, make it fair. <laughs> right. Um, Dev. I'm worried now. <laughs> TV one. How many boxes in Deal or No Deal? Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. 32. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> 22. 20, oh, one, one number wrong. <laughs> no, I would never have got that. I don't, I don't watch it either. No, I don't. Right, Alex, who was the director of the film Titanic? Uh, James Cameron. He's on it. Yeah, you're winning. <laughs> Dev, who wrote the film The Shining? I haven't got a clue. Mm. I can pass I this think, over. I can yeah. pass this over. I is think it, we should do is that. It Michael Cimino or Cimino or something like that, his name? Uh, Stephen King. Was no, it Stephen King? Stephen King. King. Ah. Of course oh, it no, was. It Old Kingo. Was it Cimino that directed it? No, it was um, the moon landing guy, wasn't it? Kubrick, wasn't it? Kubrick, Shining. Was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and <Dingham. laughs> I've only watched it once, and that was at like three o'clock in the morning. I'm going to beat the. I'm going to get two right. <laughs> You got three wrong up to now. <laughs> Third question for Alex. What frame rate is normally PAL? So what frame rate do we use in Britain as as like our frame rate for PAL? Is it, oh, you want about like 25 frames per second? He's on it. Yeah. He's on it. Oh, dude. See, I knew he's that one. He's on it. He's two and a half to nil. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Question four, Dave. No. Nope. What is HMI? HMI. It's not near B and Q. <laughs> <laughs> HMI. My questions are well harder than yours. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> they've ever even called out these. <laughs> HMI. Um, is it like? Um, <laughs> is it like HDMI without the D? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I knew you were going to say that. I put it down as we, no. Um, no. I haven't got a clue. Lighting. Yeah, see, I don't do lighting. See? 
Don't do. <laughs> don't do lighting. Don't do Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> Question four for Alex. What? All right. What could you describe as breaking the fourth wall? That's when you're just speaking directly at the camera. Yeah. I'll when you when you when you're doing a film instead of. It's like um, Alfie, you know, Michael Caine. Yes. Throughout the whole of that, he broke the fourth wall. Right. right. I've not seen Alfie. Speaking directly. Yeah, he, he's it? always speaking at the camera game. Directly at the camera. You might not know this, yes. but, yeah. 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 you know, That's he's the always one. doing it, staring at looking in the camera. Yeah. So you thought that was your, your, your audience. Your yeah. audience, yeah. <laughs> I think it's come from stage initially. You yeah. Know, like yeah. Your theatre. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's correct. So you're on, one's it, three and a half. He's not doing bad, is he? You know what I mean? He's only got half wrong. <laughs> Right. Who was the director of the film The Terminator? This one's for Dave. It was... It was... Uh, was it Spielberg? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry it wasn't. No. Oh. Mm. I can pass this over. Shall I pass this over? I might struggle on the... F I know the second one, but the... First one was it Ridley Scott? No, Ridley mm. Scott. It's one of the Scots, I think. No, no, James Cameron. Was it oh, James? Was it? James. Cameron. I thought he did the second one. Did both of them? Did he Is really? It, yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit did. of a myth. Oh. Uh, my mate thought that as well. He thought that James Cameron had done the second one. Yeah, Ridley Scott had done the first one. Yeah, I thought Ridley that, Scott yeah. did Alien. Ah, yeah. That's and it was out about yeah. the same Eurosummer as Terminator. Yeah, that's what I'm getting like, mixed everybody up. Everybody gets everybody yeah. sort of gets something. It's a bit of a trick one, that. Mm. Um, right. Uh, whose question is it? Mine. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants his <laughs> fight. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, can you name a bulb, a style of bulb that runs cold? LED. Oh, he's on this. Fucking knew that. <laughs> 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 right one for you dev yeah describe what crossing the line is um it's all to do with the 180 degree rule he's on it he's on it he's on he's the on board it. he's on the <laughs> board <laughs> 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 yeah. right you're on it excellent <laughs> right i've just gotta let me get this up now because this one's uh theme music ah um i'll cut all this out Waiting for shit to load. That's Dallas, isn't it? That he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas. Um, that's for you. You ready for this one, Dev? <laughs> I knew that one. I won't know this one. I don't recognise it after that. So, sorry, it's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Buffering. <laughs> Recognize it. No, I recognize it. It's something like, I don't know, I think it's something like Little House on the Prairie or something like that. You're rubbish. You're I, quiz, I, <laughs> I think, is it like Falcon Crest or something like that? See, you've bummed it out as well. I would have passed it over, but yeah. you've got it wrong. No. Uh, Who was it? Dynasty. Ah, Did, come on, we I had, we had Dallas them. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know oh, it was yeah. one of them shitty soaps anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we Oh, God, I can't. This is going to be so easy for uh, the next question for Alex. <laughs> yeah, no, no so, change there. Alex, then. who was the director of Alien? <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, Ridley Scott, yeah. <laughs> He's correct. Yeah. <laughs> I've got all the DVDs at home anyway for that. I just want to tell all the people out there that is a fix. <laughs> <laughs> you got one. You got yes! one. Yes. <laughs> question eight. <laughs> which country is known for bollywood india he's on the board twice yes. nice one dude <laughs> question eight alex 
What does RGB stand for? Red, green, blue. He's on it. Technicals, these as well. Yeah. Uh, question nine. Give me a temperature of a variable LED light. A temperature of a variable. It, is it? Does it have to be a variable? <laughs> no, you, you can give me a temperature <laughs> in between the two temperatures. So they go up the range from such a temperature to such mm. a temperature. Um, I would imagine, I don't know for certain, but I would imagine it, it would range from um, probably five degrees to about 15 degrees. I've already, I'd already put a cross in yeah. it before you got to the 15. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass it over. It's uh, a tricky one, but we were talking about Kelvin before. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but it's it's really low, isn't it? So it's, it's it doesn't give out that much heat, does it? It's not. It's, not, not, it's the color temperature. Oh, the color temperature. Then yeah. it's like a thousand kelvins or something stupid. You see, he's giving him so much <laughs> help. He's just told him that it's kelvins. He never told me it was. <laughs> well, in it's kelvin. kelvins. Yeah, yeah. Go on, I'll let you have another go. No, don't want it. <laughs> I'm, I'm soaking. It's all a fix. I don't think you're either. You got that one. No. So it's. It's 3,200 ah. to 5,600. Yeah. It's the same as your blue and your orange. It is, sort of yeah, yeah, it's yeah, where yeah. you go on the, the is it like the temp, on the temperature scale? Yeah. You, from you'll have a day like all a, the way through to night, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 So you, you, your lower temperatures are 3, yeah. 2, a blue. Yeah. The lower you'll go, the, the like sort of, you know, the blue yeah. or the whiter or whatever mm. it'll go. I don't know, blue. Yeah. The higher on the other scale, the redder it'll go. <laughs> yeah. The more orange. You get that option when you're. Uh, Editing photos and shit like yeah. that from from raw. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you should have fucking known it. Easy. <laughs> you should, yeah. have, had you should have worded the question properly. Man. Yeah. <laughs> question nine for Alex. This one. What was the name of the prison in the film The Rock? Alcatraz. He's got it. I fucking knew that I'll one. You what. Let's, 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 I'll do these up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, I think he's. Eight. I think he's the overall winner so fucking far. Fucking nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and you're on. Hang on, just let me count these. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh, <laughs> Question 10 for both of you. Now, Idris is apparently out of playing Bond. Mm -hmm. Who should be the next Bond? Oh, good question. Mm. There's a right answer for this, of course. Mm. Bond. Mm. Mm, damn. I think it should be a woman. Because <laughs> that's just the way that's, no, the way that's just that's just the way it. things are going. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go down that road at all. No. Doctor be... Doctor is fair enough. He can <laughs> regenerate as other things, yeah. can he? But yeah. you know, not, I think it not needs to be far. someone like um Oh, what's his fucking name? I think I think What's his face? Um, he was in Shameless, and then he went to Hollywood. What's he called? Oh, the guy from X Men and shit. Yeah. J oh, James McAvoy. That's McAvoy. it. Boy. Yeah. I think he'd make he quite, a, right. quite an interesting. I quite like. Bond. Uh, what's his face? I haven't seen him much recently. Clive Owen. He might do a decent mm. job as Bond. Clive Owen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's English. I mean, I don't mind the guy. He's on adverts pretending to be Bond. At the mm. You know, yeah. the black guy from I think he's from Star Wars. One of the Star Wars. Or yes. Something. I think he'd be all right as mm. if they were going to change the ethnicity. Or yeah, the well, if, they're, if they're looking yeah. to do that, then cry, there's a few actors out there that could probably do it. But I'm going for Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston. I'm going for Tom Hiddleston. Mm. I'm not a fan. Yeah. A lot of people, they're not, a bit, it's a bit not, warm not for some Taylor people. Swift, mate. What's happened not there? Not since Taylor Swift. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> well, he must have heard Tom's, Tom Hiddleston and Taylor Swift were getting it on, weren't they? Like, oh, I don't you know. know. Yeah, right, they had a relationship. Yeah. Right, uh, right. That's that just as any kind of respect that was there for Tom Hiddleston went right. out the window when he started right. seeing. See, her, <laughs> see I, I love the uh, I love the Jaguar adverts. Yeah. I mean, I love him in Loki. Yeah, it's always like, oh, don't kill yeah. Loki. No, I, He's a, good Loki. Yeah. Why did you kill Loki? Yeah, without without joking about it, I think yeah. he'd make a great Bond. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. But the, it was the. Jaguar advert for me. I just yeah. thought, right, that's mm. it. He smashed it. I, the only thing I didn't like him in was that he did King Kong, was it? 
I didn't think he was great in that. No. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but yeah, but it was he plays a bit, like it was he's a supposed to be like that. some like guerrilla soldier, isn't he? And yeah, he's yeah. Not building shit. It didn't, for that, it it didn't work for me. That it's like the guy from Predator. Remember Predators when they rebooted Predators and it was yeah. on like a different planet. Yeah. yeah, it was that that guy. You know, the guy with a big big nose. He's got a yes, bit of a big nose. I know. Mm. He's like, dude, he's about fucking ten storm pissed through. He's yeah. not fighting no is Predators. <laughs> Adrian Brody. Is yes. Yeah. I mean, it's good actor and everything, but he just like so. You need like a certain. If you're going to be kicking, like, you're fucking dealing you need, with, like, Arnold need, Schwartz. Yeah. He was the last at him. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah. his ass kicked. What's he going to do? Yeah, you know exactly. What yeah. <laughs> fucking so breathe like, on him and he'll yeah. evaporate. It's not happening, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah, It's just miscast, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I think, I, I, I think James Bond needs to be a real fucker. Mm, you know, yeah, he, he can't yeah. be too suave no. like Roger Moore Ro- Roger Moore was, but Roger but, Moore, all them, it's like, the guy hanging from the, 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 the sort of, you know, like the baddie, Americans love this. Yeah. The baddie's hanging from it and he'll go, give me a hand. And he'll try and drag him up and he'll go, oh, and then he'll fall. But it's like the hero tried to save him, even yeah. though he tried yeah. to kill him all the fucking way through. Yeah. Bond didn't piss him. Like, he's hanging on the edge of a building and he goes like that with his hand and he goes, don't hang around and stamps on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get in. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. what you need, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You, know, you yeah. need that type of, yeah, that, that viciousness with the character. That. Yeah, and I, th- I think somebody like... I don't know, Clive Owen would mm. probably pull that off better than Hiddleston. I love Clive Owen in Children of Men. One of the yeah, he was very best films yeah, 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 yeah. ever. Like, I love the way it's filmed. I love the thing. I love yeah. all about Children of Men. But yeah. didn't like him in 300, uh, not 300, Sin City. Sin City. Did not like him. I just didn't I, like Sin City. It's that growl. It was like, that, you know, like, I love Sin City. I did like Sin City. Yeah. I like mm. that noir type thing. Yeah. You know, it's all mm. detective type stuff and the way that it was filmed and everything. Yeah. I thought it was quite novel at the time. I mean, they could overdo it. Yeah. yeah. The second one was shite, absolute dog shit. But the first one was quite good. It was quite clever. Yeah. I like the, th- but I didn't really like his section of it. No. It's like a, a book up into sections, isn't it? Yeah. But, but as children and men, brilliant. He was good in that, but he's made some pretty shitty choices since that film. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I think the the person who's never made a shit. Well, he has actually. Tom Cruise. He was in the Mummy, the reboot of the Mummy. Yeah, yeah. That was and I just go, oh fucking hell! That's what the one that you go, dude. Dude, what were you thinking? Yeah. That was terrible. Um, but all the rest, it's like that live die repeat. What a fucking brilliant film! Yeah, yeah. You know, like for good. one of them sort of. I mean, I want to hate Tom Cruise because he's a Scientologist. He's a yeah. fruitcake. Yeah. Do yeah. you know what I mean? You get the gist of you ever met him? You just go, whoa, you're too intense, you mate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like oh, I want to do me on stunt. Strap me to a plane. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. You know we could do that yeah. shit with CG. What the fuck? What the fuck but... are you doing? Like, hanging off the side of that fucking Charlie One Thirty or yeah. whatever they yeah. called, like you know, and he's there <laughs> hanging on to. It. And they're saying we could have CGI'd that. Yeah, fuck exactly. Are you know? Yeah. And he's there hanging off the plane. It's amazing. I've been watching loads of sort of behind the scenes stuff of mm. um, you know things that have been done for yeah. Because I'm going teaching, I've got to refresh my memory on stuff, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what I mean, right? So I've been watching loads of stuff, and then mm. I still amaze myself now where you go, wow, that's yeah. done on this. It's like, like um, Manchester by the Sea, you yeah. know, like the emotional oh, yeah. drama thing. It's yeah. best in, and there's a bit where they're on the ocean in this in this bar. It had been a piece of piss really to go and film it in the ocean on a bar. Probably yeah. a few logistical nightmares. Yeah. Right? Mm. It's all done in a green screen. And I'm like, what? Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? How good is that? You know, like, you just cannot tell anymore. Like, <laughs> no, you can't. Things. It's amazing no. what and they do with it now. The way that they do the set extensions where they just throw a green cloth up in a street. Like, yeah. And, mm. and it's like blocked off. And then next minute, it's Manhattan. You yeah. Know, busy yeah. Manhattan. Yeah. But without them either in. Because yeah. they threw a green cloth in there and just CG'd yeah. it in after that. <laughs> like. yeah, yeah, I think great. that's amazing what they can do. Hey, what was the result in that quiz, by the way? <laughs> so, right, the results... The results are in. I've done my <laughs> check-in. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is on eight and a half. Eight and a half. Dave nice. is on two. <laughs> two, Dave. <laughs> and the winner. I've got the least ever. <laughs> right, so our next section, I'm going to play you the tips from um, Randolph. I'll record again. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me. Yeah. You'd think he'd be prepared for his own podcast. You'd yeah. think so, mate, wouldn't yeah. you? Totally unprepared. So unprofessional. <laughs> I'll, I'll use this at the beginning bit now for you. <laughs> <In the intro. laughs> Number three. Try and play a different character every day. And what I mean by that is you should be acting all the time. So even 
if you're not acting professionally, you should be acting. So when you get up in the morning and there's a, I don't know, there's a knock at the door and it's the postman, maybe say to yourself, right, I'm going to put on a French accent when I answer the door. So you open the door, there's the postman. Bonjour. Is this post for me? And the postman might think, what are you doing? Does it matter? Because you're a character. You are now a French assassin. You might be a French plumber or a tart. <laughs> You've just got to become a different character. Convince people that you're not you, you're somebody else. Now, some people might think you're going mad, but it doesn't matter. You know why? Because you're an actor or actress. <laughs> Number four, always boo overprivileged posh actors. Uh, whether they're live on stage or when you see them in the street or on TV, film, they don't need the work. Do you know what I mean? It's, I'm fed up of them and one in particular, that bendy dick cucumber pants. I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just boo them. I mean, I met uh, Benedict once, and I, uh, and he's, I think he's a vegetarian or a vegan. I saw him in some production. I think it might have been Hamlet, and I threw him a packet of sausages. I said, <laughs> yeah, "Deal with that, you pons." So yes, Ponces. boo those people, <laughs> ponces. Number five, oh, don't give tips to actors. So <laughs> don't you do it. Let them, you know find out how to do stuff on their own be proactive read books and keep that i suppose that's another tip now that that could be tip number six so don't give tips there you go okay so what, what do you think of uh, randolph's advice then what do you think of number four blue actors but I think that's a good. It I is, think that's yeah. a good tip. That it one, is, yeah. Isn't it, really? Yeah. You know. I think this. I think you, some of these uh, fucking actors that come straight out of RAD and go straight into fucking work like yeah. need booing. I think they've had too much of a. I think they've had too much of a good, They've had too much of an easy life. They get mollycoddled at bloody RAD, don't they? Like now, of course you're good, darling. Right. So we'll go, we'll wrap up because you're getting close to time. I think it's four o'clock. You know. Right. Um, we'll wrap up, but I want, before we go, do your big plug. Hang on, I'll put my eye dent on. Big plug! <laughs> big plug time! <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything you want to plug? And any, any advice as well? Like, ignore Randolph's advice, he's a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, I would say, if I was to give advice to anybody, be proactive. Mm. If you've got a camera, go and you use the fucking camera. Yeah. If you want to act, act. And do it in front of a camera or do it on a stage. Do it wherever you can. Just fucking do it. Yeah. And if you've got to do it for free, then do it for free. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, getting paid is always good, I says, but if you're just starting out, you know, and people are going, oh, no, you mustn't do free work. Yeah. No, that's a load of cobblers. Go out and do free work. Yeah. And that's how you get your experience. Get as yeah. much free if you're not doing anything. If you're not getting paid for it, go and do it for free. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's not costing yeah. you anything. No. Well, as long as it isn't costing you. Yeah, anything. of yeah, course. Exactly, of yeah. course. It's only your time. Yeah. yeah. As, as I mean, as... people do class time as money, but yeah. it's yeah. not. If it's no. just sat on couch watching fucking Jeremy Kyle, exactly. Is no. it, you know what I mean? Have you got any advice, Dev? Um, if you if you're gonna make something, then you you've got to give it your all. There's no point in starting something that you're just gonna like. Go, oh, I'll do a little bit today. I might do a bit more tomorrow. Mm. Mm. You can't, you just can't. If if you want to do some, because it goes stale. Yeah. If, you, if it's left for too long, it goes stale and it just will never get made. You do too many things though for me. Yeah. I know you, you, you remind me of uh, a mate of mine, Scott. He, mm. He's the same. Mm. He, one minute he'll go, Oh, I'm doing this tune, dude. And then I phone him up. How's that tune going? I don't know. I've gone scuba diving. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Like, what are you yeah. doing? Like, you know what I mean? He's like, <laughs> Everything, all his energy into one thing, one day or one yeah. week, and then completely change his mind and be doing something else. The yeah, week yeah, after. yeah, and I, I think you're a bit like that, you know. Like I, bit... I'm, I'm very obsessive, but um, I'm very obsessive when it comes to I'm, I'm one track minded, so I'll, I'll, I'll focus on something, and if it comes to the point where I can't finish it for 
and it's normally I can't finish it because I'm waiting for some somebody else to do something yeah, or yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to come back or mm. whatever, and then I'll just move on. Yeah, no, I I get that, I get that, but I think there's you've got to put yourself to a limit. Yeah, I, th I think if you enjoy writing, mm. I mean, this is only you know just like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's only my opinion, like, but if you enjoy writing. Do you day do do your day one, <laughs> yeah. and then when you get bored of doing day one, pick up your fucking laptop, do yeah. your writing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But don't write it to make it. No, you no. Know, write it to write yeah. it and to yeah, send write it off to write. Yeah. yeah. I did. I did good, start writing a sci-fi a while ago, to be honest, which is about half done. Right. Which I had no intention of making, but it was an idea that I mm. I'd had, and I wrote, wrote loads of stuff down. So <laughs> you, you started doing CG, and I was like, I knew you fucking wouldn't get far, like, because I don't want to fall. I am, I am gonna, I am the gonna CG for the uh, oh, no. radio play. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, he stopped talking about it. Now he's gone. It's because I moved on. I moved on to day one. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> but the the diff my problem with CG is that I'm I'm especially 3D modeling. It's so I know it's I'm, so I'm, time I think I'm I'm quite good at it, mm. but my downfall is characters are just terrible at, at characters. You just steal them. Yeah, that's what they do. They steal the models and yeah, just remodel yeah. them slightly. They steal yeah. the movements. Yeah, you know, all the all the stuff yeah. there to be stolen. Nick like. the fucking stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick it. Do what everybody else does. I mean, it's oh, still yeah. that's still at the back of my mind, but it's, mm. I'd, I'd, love, to, I'd love to do an animation, but I'd do it yeah. simple. Me, you know, yeah. like I did yeah. one once where I, what I did, I went round and took a lot of photos mm. of the kitchen mm. and the front room, and I think, and then I printed it all, mm. and then I made a little model thing and it was actually a marionette it was yeah. shit absolutely yeah. shit the marionette so i'd do it differently i'd do it with sticks or something underneath yeah mm. and then cg the mouths on yeah, the eyes. yeah. Do you know yeah. make it like a half animation half sort of thing yeah it was all you need then you need a still camera yeah, yeah do you know it, what i mean yeah. you need a still camera a, a, a little set yeah an area where you can create the little set mm. do your little glove pop but you can still make funny shit off. Oh, you know, yeah. It'd yeah, have to yeah, be yeah, comedy, yeah. obviously, you know. It'd have to be comedy, yeah. But it, it, yeah, you couldn't do like a hard nose. <laughs> no, 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 you couldn't, no. <laughs> Little no, things like, like no, bobbing no. about. Like, but. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's about it, really, isn't it? Is I'll, that I'll, it? I'll, yeah, I'll let you go, because you need to get off, don't no, I need to get off in a minute, mate, yeah. Stuff. So, right, nice one for coming down. Um, no props. Big plug, day one, any social media? What, what about your um, social media for... Um, CBD. Look, look out for Biscuit Porn TV. Look out for Plan B, which is a documentary on CBD oil. Um, obviously, look out for everything else that we're doing. Yeah, and yeah big also, on clouded site. Uh, yeah. Anything clouded site are doing. And I'll give a plug for Wuthering Heights, which is due out at the what end of the year. What is that due out finally? Mm. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That's due out at the end of the year. I think we'd, I think it's being released in two uh, as two films now. Right. Wuthering Heights uh, Generation One and Wuthering Heights Generation Two. You see, I've never I've never read it, I've never watched it. I know oh, I get I the saw, rough it's story. All sex and violence, mate. Yeah, I, I get it's the rough sex story, and violence, but I've never yeah. actually read it. No. Oh, but it is it is good. Very, oh, very good. So, yeah, so yeah, send us a link when it's done. So yeah, look out for that because it's gonna be very good. Cool. What about you? Um, yeah, just just a, a big shout out for day one. We're we're almost finished shooting yeah. uh, for the pilot. We've got probably about four more days left to do, um, but we're struggling for money. So yeah. uh, we have got a GoFundMe going. If you can spare a quid, that will help us loads. Yeah, right. definitely. What, what are your scenes that you got left? Uh, po the post apocalyptic scenes. Oh Christ! Right. Yeah. So the ones you need the money for. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Definitely need some Wonga. A few um, thousand pounds would be nice. It's difficult. It's so fucking hard. It is, I can't it's hard. give advice because my mind fell no. on its ass after a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> so what you need to do is you need to spend loads of time doing it and then fucking get a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, it's really, it is difficult. Yeah. But uh, if there is anyone out there with some spare cash, like help us out, get day one finished. Mm. You need, what you need is some rich, rich guy or rich woman that yeah. wants to act. And yeah. then go, yeah, yeah, you can be leading this, but yeah. you're just going to yeah. pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I mean, if there's some rich, rich old woman out there, like, and I, I don't mind lending her my body for a yeah. couple of days or something. <laughs> have, you, have you got interest in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, there's loads of interest. Yeah, yeah. there's, uh, loads. what's the, that lady called, Mary? Uh, Mary Fitzgerald, uh, CBS in America. The, are they the Walking Dead guys? No, uh, yes. no. No, that's Blue, AMC, uh, in it? Blue Bloods. Oh, right, yeah, with you know, the uh, Tom Magnum Selleck. in it. Yeah, Tom Selleck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Magnum she, and Marky Mark. Actually, Not Mary Mark, Fitzgerald, the woman that, um, she's the one that brought Tom Selleck into the into the thing and she helped write it and do a few other mm. things right, as right, well. Right, right, So she's very high up at CBS. Can you not ask her for, like, a... I already have, kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, what you need to do then is do the trailer first, don't it? Yeah. So yeah. I'll get the... 
and get your lift pitch sorted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, get a proposal done. But don't don't overkill your proposal. You no. know, a page. Yeah. You know, of, of yeah, like yeah. Um, how you see it going, how it's being filmed. Mm. You know, a rough story. Um, your lift pitch, bang it on. Yeah. Throw it with link with trailer. See what they say. Yeah, we're gonna do. It. I think it's Channel Four as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Channel um, Four, Sky. There's been lots of interest in what we're doing, uh, but I think because we're an unknown entity as such. That's it. You need you need um, you need to start putting together your your catalogue of stuff. Yeah, that's been done yeah, and start showing that you're you're actively doing stuff, don't you? Mm. I mean, that tends to work. It's like people like you know the guy who did this is England. Yeah. yeah, this is this is like we were talking about how busy Velton is earlier. When yeah, we were having a break, and he's a busy, busy guy. I'm going to trap him on the podcast one day. Yeah, by saying he's coming down filming and then trap him with a mic. Yeah. <laughs> tell him, tell him, we've, tell him, tell him that, uh, tell him that we've already done it. Yeah, yeah. and then he'll be straight down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 he won't want to be outdone by us. I'll, I'll say that you only got six on your quiz. Yeah. Getting in another incentive come down. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we were saying how busy he is, but I, I was like virtually knocking out a film a week. Yeah, he is. Yeah, very the, busy. Man. What's the, Shane Meadows? Meadows, yeah, Shane, Shane, Shane Meadows. Meadows. So before he did this is England. This, mm. I don't know whether this is true or not. I was told this at uni, mm. but he did something like a hundred short films. Yeah, do you know, like sort of, and he was banging out one of one a week. Yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. a mate, just banging these yeah. short films out, sort of getting better and better as they yeah. went along. Yeah, they had the time to do it. They had the sort of facilities, got the cameras, okay, yeah. everything. Went out, banged a lot of short films. Done. You know, then then it sort of. Like, then he's getting into feature films, getting mm. funded. <laughs> right, we're going to go there. Means first. Right, say bye bye then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. You've been listening to a confusing load of bollocks. The views and opinions of any guests are not necessarily that of Custard Room Productions. And if you are offended or do not agree with any of the comments, please take it to Twitter and we'll ignore you. You snowflake. This episode was sponsored by Bolton Film Festival. Visit the website for more information about what will definitely become the North West's best film festival and competition. Remember to check the show notes for links to any films or social media mentioned throughout. Or if you're thinking of sponsoring the show, please contact me at Custard Room on Twitter. Thanks for listening.